Hello and welcome once again to the Gourmet's Gourmet. My name is Oscar Hume the Fourth. I'm Jonathan Tisdale the Seventh. And uh, we are here again on uh, Ted Minute Podcasts um, airwaves, uh, essentially on loan from the BBC radio series of the exact same name, the Indeed. Gourmet's Gourmet. Yes. And we are here on a, a very special day for our return engagement. American holiday. Yes. yes uh, well. Happy Thanksgiving all. Indeed. Well, uh, I, I don't know how happy it was for yes. the Native Americans. I, I mean, yes, I, course, I think if one yes. were to pick up a history book, of course, it's... They, they did us a service, the, the white they settlers. They kept them from starving to death, and then we did. turned around and gave them smallpox and, uh, and destroyed them. Well, whatever it is we gave them, it was delicious, because the fare was uh, of, of the era. Uh, a, a wonderful, a wonderful array, a cornucopia if you will, of uh, turkey and stuffing and cornbread muffins and cranberry dressing and, and uh, sweet Indeed. potatoes and all of this. And uh, I would imagine it's what our usual 10-minute uh, podcast uh, uh, hosts, uh, William Sass, O'Brien yes. Callan and Christopher D'Elia, are enjoying with their families currently. Well, I, and, I should and, say, I should say that... It just gets me so excited. Well, I, I should say, for, for the most part... lasted this many years. Yes, well, for the most part, my, my experience with, and it's been very limited, of course, but my, my experience with the way the Americans eat turkey and, and potatoes and and the like. Yummy, is, yummy. Is, is actually to cater to a broader palate, a broad palate of uh, what's more important seems to the American palate is uh, salt and, yes. and, and I suppose... Well, for the most part, salt and fat, isn't it? Wonderful elements. Yes, good yes. point, Jonathan. Oscar, yes, yes. wonderful. Uh, but there's yes. got to be more, hasn't there? Oh, I mean, and there is. Uh, to call pumpkin, yourself a gourmet. Pumpkin pie. And uh, what do they put? They, they put marshmallows right in right. with with the, the sweet potatoes. Right. Perfectly and horrid. One thing I'm... Perfectly horrid I'm, and rather pedestrian. I, I think the most important thing to re- remember is that one mustn't settle for uh, just... A turkey that we salt and pepper. No, you must stuff it. Uh, well, you must. You could stuff it, I suppose, with chestnuts and boar sausage. Or, I mean, there are or a number of. You could take this recipe that I saw on the internet, which was basically they they took uh, goldfish. I believe it's made by some snack oh, company sake, no. out here, for and they sake. soaked them in Dr Pepper soda uh, pop. Are you as being you quite serious? And then they they stuffed that, mushed that together with bread, and uh, I think it was some Totino's pizza rolls, and they put it together into the bird and it was these fellows on the on the YouTube who eat giant amounts I, of food I, I must I must say I, I must it, Oscar you're terribly forgiving aren't you of, of, of the everyday and common man well I mean, no. it's a little bit isn't it a little, a little bit like going to, to, to a museum and looking at Van Gogh and then and perhaps Picasso and Matisse yes. and then and then coming across I suppose something an imbecile had painted well, with uh, finger with his fingers well perhaps uh, or perhaps even an I like even, even a donkey are you talking about the, uh, the paintings where, into where a, dogs are playing poker together I quite like those. Or where uh, Marilyn Monroe, uh, Elvis Presley, and James Dean are all hanging out at the same Oscar, 50s there's got diner. to be criteria Look, look let nuance, me tell you something, Jonathan. As a Michelin chef of 30-plus years, and you're in the same boat, my good man, I, I just feel at this point my, my palate has graduated. Graduated what? I mean, nonconformity, homogeneity. Well, well let, uh, I mean, look, look, look. I mean, let, let's be quite honest. For the most part, just the act of basting the bird, the act of raising the bird, yes. the act of, of choosing to, to raise the bird on its natural diet, yes. which changes the meat, of course. I mean, the, the fact, first of all, that, that, that turkey in this country is white meat when it really should be dark meat. Is that well, I won't, I won't, well, I, I will not disagree with you there. Well, I it's, do quite, believe- it's very, it's a, I, I, I would argue, in fact, that to, yes. to, to, to cut into a, a real turkey, yes. a turkey raised in the yes. wild on its natural diet. Quite. The meat is very similar. Yes. To pheasant, isn't it? To pheasant, yes, it is. I was just about to say that. And then to baste the turkey, which takes a year to perfect. But but, most of us is brush. Yes, but but Jonathan, you're leaving something out to take that white meat that here in North America we're more used to. You can use it for other things. You can uh, uh, chop it up and put it. it Put it. You could (laughs) chop it up and put it in tacos, for instance. Or you could, or you could mash it together and and put it in little bowls and fry it and make little pizza balls. The kids would love that. Oscar. Or you could 
cut, chop it up, and put it on top of nachos. Oscar, How please. about this? Oscar, I wish that McDonald's would have a, a, a turkey burger. Oscar, I, An I, alternative. I, I, I really must object at the moment. I well, mean, look, this is the gourmet's gourmet. This evening. And, and there must be standards. I mean, yes, if, if there you is. were to sit here and talk about pizza balls and the like, yes. it's perfectly... Horrendous! It's horrid. This I mean, it's, evening it's we will be joining uh, uh, Wolfgang. Wolfgang. Yes, Park, we'll yes. be at Wolfgang Puck's home I'm here in the, the Hollywood that. Hills, yes. is Los Angeles mansion, and yes. uh, I cannot wait for the spread that uh, our Wolfie will be uh, spreading out for us because it is our first Thanksgiving here. Uh, indeed, and uh, as I long just as we don't have to say grace. I tell you what, one thing I just cannot wait for, Jonathan, is is while we're waiting for that grand bird yes. to come out with all of the fixing, all of the the goldfish stuffing, Doctor Pepper. Well, I'm not sure uh, Wolfgang uh, Puck would be using uh, Doctor Pepper. Perhaps and... he'll deep fry it. So that would be wonderful. Maybe oh. we'll get to watch some. American footy, oh. some football. We'll get to see, uh, uh, who is it, Peyton Brady take on uh, Aaron Favre and, uh, and the Chicago Dolphins, and we'll order a pizza. Wouldn't that be fun, I Jonathan? Haven't, I haven't the Wouldn't slightest... Wouldn't that be fun? We'll be like, well, Yankees, wouldn't we? We'll, we'll be could also right be, American. I suppose it could be also fun to roll around on thumbtacks. Oh. I mean, for the most oh, part, I, I don't just... think that's what I would call... A satisfactory evening. I mean, you have a you have a chance yes. to eat turkey prepared by one of the great masters, in my in my opinion. I mean, look, look. There's no question that Wolfgang Puck was a superstar when we came yes. on on, yes, yes, on, yes. on the scene. I think, in many ways, he's become a businessman, hasn't he? I mean, right. it's a, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm speaking out of turn. Well, uh, I mean, I, I think he's, well, I think he's trading in his knives. Uh, well, uh, his gourmet. I don't knives want for, to. For I would not want fare. to. You know, uh, put that past Wolfie and tell him what you said about him just now. So I'll, I'll leave that to you uh, if you'd well, like I'm to being, I'm being make honest, the evening uh, I mean, uh, I, I, go I, right downhill but I will ask you this yes. what are you most looking forward to well, to tonight's Thanksgiving I, feast I, and then I'll give you mine I think for the most part I think I, I, want, I want to see how the man bastes his turkey we, we all yes, know that, yes. that one of the ways to actually tell that something's been basted properly is the knife as it cuts through the bird should mm-hmm. crack the skin yes. in fact the skin should look as though it were made of melted sugar and should oh, and so wonderful. and so I think that's the most important thing. And then of course the meat shouldn't be too white. The meat yeah. should be it should be dark. Oh, yes. It should be Or juicy. at least a, a, a mixture there of the two would be do nice. you know do you know, Oscar, that I can tell how well a bird would taste yes. just by cutting in and how the meat reacts to yes. the knife. This is the most important thing. You can tell that you've cooked the bird wrong or right by the way it reacts to the knife. Well, I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to. Mm. Those appetizers that we'll have during the footy match. Mm. I, I quite hope that there will be some jalapeno poppers. Oh, perhaps with some turkey added. Oh, my perhaps breaded with uh, Captain Crunch. Or um, uh, maybe uh, Honey Nut Cheerios mashed about Oscar, with no. some Lay's potato <laughs> no, chips I, mashed about. right? Oscar, do me and a then favor, in a baggie, yes. mix it all together and use your perhaps some Coca-Cola or something. To sort of a shake keep. and bake. Yes, 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 yes. Of course, Jonathan. Sort precisely. Of a shake and bake, and shove that them. in the oven. 180, 250. Of no course. matter. No and mind. Then, and then, if we and then to, just if we shove those them. back. Delicious. Well, we, could, we could also put it in jars and sell it as 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 engine lubricant, couldn't we? Now who's the businessman, Jonathan? Oh, now you've got us, old sake. chap. You really Wonderful. Are rather and Yes, yes, it episode. would be delicious. I cannot wait. I just cannot wait for dinner tonight at at Wolfgang's home, and and hopefully there will be ever so many snacks so we can enjoy and each other, and yeah. and then when that giant bird comes out onto the table. I know that, for me, it will be a very special Thanksgiving, because I'll well, finally be an American. Well, I, I, and and I think, I'll enjoy myself I think I should myself, always greatly. remind people that spe- to say special Thanksgiving is rather an oxymoron, isn't it? I mean, for the most part, we have to remember that a great number of people that were in this country first yes. died of disease. Well, I'm and not... At, at knife well, and gunpoint. I'm not quite sure they which... Um, well, I'm not quite sure which, which diseases you are speaking of, but uh, well, well, I don't know, but I think you're taking a wonderful, wonderful
wonderful tradition of wonderful food and driving it right into the toilet. Is it really wonderful? And we're just about out of time on the Gourmets Gourmet. Here we come, Wolfie, to all of your fried bird and, and uh, jalapeno oh, goodness. Sake. Please and don't fry Please your order candy. a pizza for the football None game. We cannot wait. Flew directly from Nashville. How was the flight? Direct flight. Yeah. Oh, that's good. All the way, just up in the air. Well, this and when we landed. Yep. Just went this will be a treat. Down. Some podcasts are so and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to 10 minute podcasts. That's exactly what happened when All I right. did it. Okay, yeah, and then the plane lands the and wheels just the... come down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this... And hit the tarmac and All we right. just glide well, right this on this is in. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. I'm so I'm so excited. Yeah, as and, am I. And, and clearly this this legend we sitting a, with we us. have a superstar. He can't wait to get it started. Let me get the business out of you the know, way. I'm more, Welcome. I'm more of just somebody that comes from a, a good family. And we will yeah. And I'm a family man. Well yes. <laughs> and and it's and it's that That's season. It's I the am. season for family and, and giving and, and we got a great gift for you today. Christmas is a because, great time too. Oh, yeah. And no, no, no matter who you are and what denomination yep. you, you you know you choose, whoever you are out there you 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 believe what you believe, yep. and it's just a great time of cheer, isn't yep. it? And here we go it with is, this, which is what we say. And Brian, definitely, you don't talk right now because it's getting. A little you can fun. have cheer. Here we you go. You can See? have happiness. You, you can have wonderful. This you yep. can just have it all. Welcome to the Ten Minute Podcast. You're going to buy something on Amazon. It's Christmas time. Buy your gifts at the, the Amazon banner. It's Ten Minute Podcast. It's time for the holidays. Ten Minute Podcast dot com. And yes, it is. It's definitely time for the holidays. I hit our uh, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital banner. Also, my name is uh, Will uh, Shredded Bear Sasso. I'm right, Brian, right. the kid, Callan. Chris D'Elia. Chris D'Elia is not here. And, and Brian's uh, not even making fun of my nickname because we're, no, we're Garth very. Garth Brooks. No, we're we, Garth, Garth Brooks, Brooks, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. Garth what Brooks. an unbelievable honor. This man yeah. has won more awards than we can count. He, he's a multi, multi, multi platinum artist. New album out. And he's got a new album. You know, you're trying to make me blush, but I just tell you one thing right now none of that stuff really matters to me because me is what you're looking at. This is who I am. Yeah. And that's what we love about Garth Brooks. Yeah. And, you know, well, he took time off from his. T- career to be with his family. I mean, that that's yeah, that is yeah, admirable. Absolutely, and I just do day to day stuff. Really, is what yeah. I do. You well, know, what do you do during it's, the day? It's uh, you... it's really well, something else. I'm just have... the kind of guy that gets up in the morning, puts on sh- pants, yeah. uh, walk around in those pants, mm. put on my shirt, well, that's... one arm at a time. Yeah, everybody and does. And I just kind of leave my place. Wow. Huh. Well, everybody does. That's really, uh, and that's really something that makes you so accessible, Mr. Brooks. And we're just so happy to have you here. We're fans. Sometimes and, and, I don't even oh, have time to oh, get out the door without yep. just cooking up a little something. Sometimes yep. I'll use my stove. Sometimes I won't. Yep. Sometimes I just have to pop something in the microwave. And what happens then is that the, the food just kind of rotates and sizzles. That's very, th- and, and that's a very. Mm, a half, mm-hmm. half a minute or a minute later, that food comes out. And I end up eating it. Okay. <laughs> and that's a very normal thing. <laughs> it is. And we, we appreciate that you're such a normal, accessible guy. As a matter of fact, you did something that now... I eat it every... while I'm wearing the clothes I okay. just put on. Yeah, yeah, that goes in that order. That's really... It's just so cool to have someone who's such a massive star be so homespun. And so accessible. And, yeah. And speaking of accessibility, you've recently done something that everyone's on the page, you know, as far as Facebook goes, right? Well, you know, I decided before, yeah. before a few weeks ago, I decided that I needed to get a little social. Yeah. And I did, didn't I? And, and you Facebook, posted. I went, I got a Twitter, and I got a Facebook. And those two uh, Let me sites tell you a have been around quite Facebook. a while. Oh. Let me tell you a little something about okay. Facebook. The thing I like about Facebook is yeah. that it just combines everybody together. You can find out what anybody's doing at any given moment if you're connected uh, We know to that. Yeah, and yeah, even yeah. if you're not. Yeah. It's yeah, been well, around for a while. It's just yes. amazing. Well, but now it's Garth. It's genuine. Yeah. And now Garth Brooks is on it. And we'd like to actually, you made a video uh, introducing yourself to Facebook. I did. And, and and would you mind if we played this? Sure. Why okay. not? Let, let's, let's have a listen to Garth, Garth Brooks. Brooks. Yeah. Well, I guess it's official. We're now on Facebook. I really wasn't sure about this at the start. But then a friend of mine said something that just made all kinds of sense. She said, think of it more as a conversation. I like that. But I'm already finding out on my own. So it's wiping the walls out between you and me. And I really like that. It allows us into each other's worlds, or I guess in my case, the hotel room. When I think about things I want to post, I want to post cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. But most of the stuff I'm going to post is going to be raw stuff like this. Just who I am. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. 
There it is. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> that's exactly. uh, you seem like. No, I was just in my hotel room right yeah, there. Yeah, no, it was just, very uh, just basically hanging out among the other people that were at the hotel. Yeah, we well, were all just in, room, in separate though. rooms, yeah. but in the same building. Right, and that's sort of like a. a There's so sort of... many hotels all across America and the world. Yeah, yeah, so and you, you could be in any your... one of them at any given right. time. But, but, and you were but... sitting in your hotel room, so yeah. I was sitting right in my hotel room, right on that bed, sleeping. Yeah. I fell asleep after that. A lot now, of people fall asleep. Now, can I just say something out loud? You know, you've you've Sometimes rocked stadiums, I get sleepy. right? You've had albums, no fences, rope in the wind, the chase in pieces, fresh horses, sevens. You've you've done it all. You've done it all, and it seems to me in this return to normalcy and 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 family that is it is this weird to say, Brian? I don't want to offend. I still drive Are to the market. You, okay. Yep. Yeah. I mean, of I course you get would. In, well, of course you would. Just get into the car. Well, so that I, the, you know, the thing I like about uh-huh. that is you just get behind the wheel. Yeah. And you hit that gas pedal. Yeah. And guess what you do? You drive. You do anything else anybody has ever done right. inside the so, inside inside of an automobile. Right. Whether you have an Audi uh-huh. or you have a jalopy. Of course. All jalop- you do, don't say you that. just st- sit behind that yeah. steering wheel and you just be who you are. Now that leads perfectly into my question, Garth, and just. Let me get this out. Are you maybe a little impressed by these normal things? Because you're presenting them like, like they're kind of a big deal. It's just a little. There's a lot of sauce on that video, man. If I'm be, if I'm being real, he gets it. I, I, I don't. You know, when I go to the market, I just stand. I just I go to what, each. I if will, I need bread, you know what I do? Go, I just go and I right, ask the employee, hey, bread. employee, where's the bread? And then he points to a direction, and I go get that bread, and then I stand in line, well, whether I, I'm at Gilson's or whether I'm at ShopRite. I, I think that Will, what Will's trying to say is that yeah, you, you've been so famous, out. you've been so, uh, I guess, out of reach. Do you feel sometimes that maybe I Bought that, my son a bicycle. Right. Everybody does. Yeah. Do you feel that you've been so high up that in some ways now that you're trying to come down, you're a little bit out of touch? Does yeah. that feel? That's kind of, thank you for saying Boy, that. Well, you know yeah. what? Yeah. That... I don't think so. I mean, I hear those words coming out of your mouth and what you're doing is basically you're just kind of saying what, whatever, you know, what you feel. And that's what I like about you. And when I sit and I'm hanging out, and I'm just doing what I'm doing and yeah. kind of doing my thing. If I'm talking to somebody, I make sure that I'm 100% telling them who I am. Yeah, but you shouldn't really get – I don't know that you necessarily get a trophy Real for stuff. Right. Yeah. I'd say feel real stuff. That you're not Regular saying, stuff. Right. Natural do you, well, stuff. Do you feel like you're not saying a lot sometimes um, when you're trying to have interviews because – you already have so much. I ate so a bowl much. of pasta the other day yeah. to, right. to, to further your point and okay. my point. You know what? And Actually, what I did was mm-hmm. the pasta was kind of in that bowl. And what I did was I stuck that fork in that pasta mm-hmm. and I just kind of twirled it around. Right. I twirled it around. You know, we're talking about bread nice and, and pasta and all yeah. this sort of things. Uh, here's just a way to get sort of to the Not bottom of what, Brian, what Brian's suggesting. Let me just ask I saw you saw a this. dog the if, other day. Okay. Yeah, all right. That's yeah, yeah all right. Just so, kind of walked right on by. It. Of course it did. Yeah. It's a dog. I've had those experiences but here's the thing. many times. Let's it wasn't have, even on a leash. It was just let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Garth. The dog was trained. If you went to the grocery store and loaf loaf of bread at the grocery store, how, how much should it cost? Uh, loaf of bread? Yeah. How normal are you? Seventeen, eighteen dollars. <laughs> oh, see. Okay. It's yeah. I think what Brian yeah. is saying is kind see, of. See, I the, think that you're a little so out you've of touch. Been, you've been up in the, you know. Yeah, in a stratosphere. Yeah. And now that you're trying to come down, maybe you should stay in the stratosphere. No, no, it's like two ninety nine or yeah, it's, it's four dollars. Yeah, like if depends. you get like the best like gluten free bread that's in the freezer, it's like no way it's uh, more than five bucks. Right. I, I doubt it. <laughs> I got to be honest with you. I mean, maybe I, you know, maybe I just. I'm the kind of guy that just sees things like maybe a lot more, a lot more than they are, just uh, like every one of us. Do you have any us. idea how much the tickets you nothing. sell to your concerts cost? I, I don't know. You don't have any yeah. idea how much you charge to come see yourself? I don't have a clue. Do you have a guess? No. Okay. You want to well, just... What would you consider to be a lot of money versus not a lot of money? A lot. What, what's a lot of money? A yeah. lot. Just like a lot of money. Think about like, like what's a lot of money. God. Oh. What, what do you think the average family lives on a year? Yeah. Oh, good question. Average income? Sure. Four or five million dollars. <laughs> out of touch. <laughs> that's, you're that's very just... out of touch. You're a little out of touch. Yeah, out of touch. It's <laughs> nowhere close to that. It's nowhere close you're to that. You're just very out of touch. Do you have any most idea how much money around, you have? It's around five figures for most families. I don't really know how much money I have. 
You don't. So, but why? Okay, you have then a ballpark figure. Yeah, why are you going on the internet saying that you want to post cool stuff, neat stuff? You're showing that you're in a hotel room. We we don't need to know that. No, I guess it's just who I am. It's, no, well, you don't know I who don't you know, are. Do you know who are you? <laughs> who are you? Garth, Garth Brooks. I have. Four hundred and thirty-five billion dollars. Oh my god! That's a lot so of money. money. Is do? Is do? Is do? Is do? You don't do quick enough. Is do? No, is do. Drums. Do it now. What? Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to Ten Minute Podcast. Welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. You're going to buy something on Amazon? It's Christmas shopping. You know, you can go to... Chris, anyway, Chris is trailing. biting his lip and all I can see is doing a weird, weird, weird noise. Go to 10minutepodcast.com, hit the Amazon banner, do your Christmas shopping that way. Do you always have to go say to that? The, yeah, I do, no. Brian. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, but you know, and okay. then, let's get but then you say don't, but then, get through. and then I, and then Let's get through it, man. Get through. through. Let's get through. Let's go. Let's get through it. Do, let's go. Come on. And, you know... St. Jude Children's Research Hospital banner is a good thing to do that instead of gifts this year. You go, you hit the banner on our website, it all goes to the kids. Literally, and you can no send, one does uh, it. No, no, they one should do that. No, they do, but and they don't I do, do it every Christmas. Should. Humanity is a good thing. I'm going to do it. And my name is Will the Striated Santa Claus Sasso. That's, okay. not, That's true. not true. Yep. I'm Brian the Kid Callan. <clears throat> and I'm Chris Lee, and I don't have a nickname because I'm Ron. What you say is what you say. That's fine, but I'll tell you what. I'm striated because I'm striated, and in Santa Claus because Christmas. You're right. not. Yeah. You're not. You're not, and yeah. you're not, not. a giver. Well, you're not oh, I'm a giver. giver. Oh, no. I'm giver. I'm very generous. You you get, made, you made, I'm, I'm hosting this right here you in, get, my, in my home. You, what? You, get. you sugar cheese. Wait, you get. Mm, get. You yeah. sugar oh, cheese get. boy. You no, sugar no, no. no don't, don't, say, don't say that he is... You, the other day you were talking about know. he's a gingerbread Listen, I don't and care. now I'm sugar cheese. It's the holiday season. Here's what I have to say. I'm a family man. All right. Okay. And I'm not... I'm not. I, how do I put this? Um, well, first of all, you'd say I'm not. Yeah. But I'm my kids. I don't right now. Yeah. Like at this moment, okay. I don't want them. Does that whoa, make whoa, sense? Whoa, whoa, Brian. No, Brian. I just mean I don't mean it's it that Christmas. way. It's Christmas. I know. Are you about? I just mean that family at this stage. If I'm very blunt, meaning at the yeah. stage in your late forties or is, what? Yeah, is not. But that's kind of it's when. Not for me? What? Like, does that what you, mean? The late forties is a fine time to have a family. No, yeah. I know that, but personally, I'm realizing that this maybe was a colossal mistake. Well, hold on a second. Okay, Brian. first okay. of all, Can stop. Sense? Well, stop doing it in a sing-songy way because everything you're ending is high. Okay, yeah. I'm, but I'm just trying. I because I don't want it to come off as. But here's the thing. I, you're doing a very my, annoying thing. With I your love hands. them, but at the at you're the go end high. of the day, I feel go. like my kids and even yeah. my wife, as wonderful as they are, they sometimes high. resemble yeah. for me. You're gonna end up going high. Bad, gonna... bad meat. It okay. sounds like a yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. It you know you're doing like this question. Okay, does that make any sense? Yeah, no. It, it actually it does. I don't want it to sound harsh. I'm it, just... it, it, it sounds very harsh, and the, and you're just because you're talking it like this right. it doesn't mean it's not harsh. It's very harsh. It's very harsh. You just you sound like a girl that would say she's spiritual a lot. <laughs> right, I'm not okay. like yeah. I grew up, but this religious, is religious. But now I'm more spiritual. Right. Okay, okay, well, but that is kind of how I feel right and now. And also, I'd like everyone to go to our uh, Twitter at Tim and Pod, Facebook slash Tim and Pod to see a picture of Brian's hands. Would you see? Because it's making me blood red uh, mad, no, but <laughs> guys, because he's pointing to himself I, with. With so, eight fingers and because, two because thumbs? It's, because it's kind of me time is All what right, I'm trying so to what say. Are you, what are you saying? You're, I'm he's saying, already said it. I'm he saying that to... I don't recognize okay, can myself I break it down? anymore and I can need to little... save myself. All right. Can we do a little psych like getting rid of my Let's family Let's do a little a junior while. psychology here. Okay, yeah. okay. You want to dump your family because you selfish piece of shit. No. It's the holidays, which means that you your family is demanding more of you and you want to Dump them Don't off. Don't say dump. You're you know, using you know words. what you want to do? You dump them off like you, a load no, or a shit. Well, you're 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 using really aggressive language. <laughs> yeah. And well, for me, yeah. No. For me, yeah. And I'm speaking only for me. Okay, like, and dude. I can stop. Doing yeah, that. don't do that. I know, yeah. but I can only speak for myself. Sure, in this. all right. Uh, that I so have much. to. I have to. I, I feel as though like I have to etch out a tiny bit of territory for myself. I hate what you're doing. Yeah, so, I hate so you. If you guys and or anybody wants to take my family for a while, what? Like, I think that's kind all of right, what dude. I'm saying. Like my let wife. Me, let no. me. All right, what? look. Let me. Let me Go just. Ahead. Okay, look. 
I I can I I can now just because you piqued my interest and maybe kind of a we all have th- certain things we want to get done. Right. The holiday ser- season. Are you having I, a stroke right what now? What I'm saying I is said, uh, holiday season. I say I I noticed what you said and I can help out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And Thank even, you. A friend yeah. who knows that I'm going through just. Like I just want a little for you. You're annoying the shit out of both of us yeah. with that. You're a it selfish very prick. We got it. Now Chris but has no. a solution. Yeah. yeah, I can just like I don't know if somebody wants to like you have your dad and mom. Oh, or whatever. I don't like them either. Right, but they, you can just like, you can have anyway. the kids go with them, and then me. No, I. Okay, I do want to do that. Wait, hold on a second. I would Wait, give my... You didn't let him finish. Chris, what happens? It would yeah, be a... you take your, you take the, get the kids, give the kids to the grandparents, and then I'll... But what about... Wait. Well, I'll just... And then I'll... What? I can watch your... Why or whatever. I, my, okay, now hold it. Finish the word. Okay, wait. Are you offering? <laughs> are you offering to uh, watch my wife for a while so that perhaps, perhaps, and this is only for me. Okay. All right, but dude, perhaps please. I could step out of my boundaries. I've never and seen. Maybe yeah. I've never seen. And this maybe weird... get involved in some other stuff. I've on never the... seen the ten yeah. finger selfish talk thing because I'm not mixed with no. with anger. Dude, and, I'm not trying to be selfish. Like I yeah. love my family. I would all right, do anything I, 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 for them. I, I, okay, you do anything for but, them, and so that's great. If you were to give so me, have if you were to give me, right. and I'm not trying, I'm mm. throwing a number. Yeah, yeah, I'm throwing yeah, yeah, yeah. a stupid number. Right, right, right. Okay. It doesn't matter. Right. But like, if you were to say, "Here's twenty thousand dollars, and I'll take you away for that's, a week," like uh, I would say, "Thank you." Okay, like, well then, why don't we just quid pro, quid pro quo then? You know, because I'm I'm talking about you get your free time, and then I get to burber. <laughs> don't. Okay, hold on. Oh, no. What is that? What did he well, just do? Well, it's something Chris has been saying for a while, but it's sort of just been internal. But and what now, does that mean? Now he's trying to say it on the podcast. But what does that mean? Well, you, what, you get to, yeah, you, what does that mean? You well, get, you, you get how, your free time. How do you time. spell that? It's something that B-R-B-R. just we... Yeah, B-R-B-R. Something we've, been saying, something we've been saying. Something we've been saying. You know, you, you get to sometimes we have text. your free time, and yeah. I, I get to Berber. Okay. Do you know what Berber is? I don't. I don't. I'm so confused right now, and I want to know. I, well... Okay. Stop, don't be so self, don't stop with the selfish thing. like you know when you're you know when you're having a good time and you're you're with you're a guy and if you're attracted to a woman and you're with a woman and then yeah. one thing leads to another and then <laughs> okay. do you get it do you understand this term that he's trying to oh offer here? oh god oh god oh oh ah, hold on <laughs> you remember earlier you when burping? i said you're trying no no no, no. Are you remember earlier up? remember earlier when i said you're trying to unload your family yeah, you're, yeah. Bur- you're trying to burber your family. You're trying to well, dump I'm just, them just like for a, load. a little while. Well, that's I'll what he's that talking about. Make me a criminal, Brian. Listen to, to me, Brian. Listen to me. Dump right, a little right, Bur- burber. Right. <laughs> you see what he's saying now? I'm trying to burber. He wants to burber with your wife. Hold on. Hold on. I, I came here. He wants. I to came take, here open to you guys. Yeah. He wants you to, to share with you what I was going through yeah. emotionally. And I wanted to etch out a little piece of territory. Well, that's right. He wants your mom and Big Mike to watch the kids. Yeah. And you want to... Oh. And he goes... Burr, burr. You want to take my wife and and you want to get up on that and until you... Burr, burr. Yeah. Burr, burr. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Brian's been having problems with the family. It's a... Burr, burr. <laughs> Ah. ah, he's trying to help. I am trying to help, man. I know, but yeah. how does that help me, bro? Uh, uh, I'm so glad the kids can stay at the grandparents. <laughs> it's always two. Chris, why is it only he's two? To help out. It's, it's, first of it's all, the holidays. He's being. Burr. He's being. He's, he's being Jen. We'll do burps. He Jen. He give. I'll he's not being Jen. Jen. <laughs> being Jen. He's not. He's not the yeah, 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 yeah. He's I wanted to babysit. Watch him. You want to violate and, just, and get up in there Wait, and tell I'm you. I'm sorry, what? You want to violate. You're getting too lazy. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you want to violate. Uh, well, I'll yeah, tell see, you. Yeah. Yeah. And see what you're doing? Your whole body language went from right now for me, what I want to do, to hey, who's up? I like came to you talent. guys. He yeah. brought you back, man. No. He brought you back. Chris's generosity you, I'm being is generous. helping you. And simply Berber is by side, Berber is just like a footnote. Uh, Berber's just sort Berber's of. Berber's nothing. I do Berber's feel. I'll here be honest there. with you. I do feel a little better, and I don't yeah. feel cool. as needy yeah. as I did. There's nothing. Look, there's nothing that takes the pressure off quite like. That's true, and you can and then burp, burp on your own. I don't feel. I don't know if this and is even. even he, I don't know how I even feel. Chris. Even Chris going. Burp, burp, is <laughs> helping 
you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's taking pressure. You're, you're, you're on your way. You're going la da 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 da, and I'm with your wife, and I'm just going. But then, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna help you. I don't know how that helps me, man. Yeah, it helps you, man. But I don't arm. feel. <laughs> right on. Whoa. Oh boy. You okay. Got it right on. All right. So all right. No, I'm just some stalk. You know, yeah, I'm like yeah. stalk. Yeah. All right. All right. Take it easy. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. Right on. Whoa. Right, okay. You got it. Why you listen right. to song for oh, it's because the song. Podcast. Yeah. Right on. Okay. All right, right man. on. Okay, oh, guys. right on. Okay, oh, right on, man. O- okay, I'm right. so stoked. All right, I'm man. I'm so stoked. Okay, okay. Right. Now hold on right. for a second, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Ten Men Podcast. Right. Uh, Will Sasser could not make it. <laughs> right. That's my boy, bullshit. man. Bullshit. Right. Sass. So uh, no. big Will, uh, Brian, and Kid Callen, yeah. and that is. Uh, I'm, I'm Chris. Yep. Crystal Lee, I don't have anything. Oh, I've yeah. heard that on the show like yeah. before. I, and I was I fucking like, because like <laughs> Sass is always like, oh, my name is uh, Will, yeah. the the, the Chief mesomorphic engineer, engineer yeah, sure. of, of uh, right. shredded yeah, yeah, yeah. meat yeah. or whatever. No, it's and not then that. Brian, the kid Callan, like right on, you can yeah. get with that. So Even what? on all his other podcasts, he also says that. And I'm yeah. like, right on. It's the same thing, <laughs> even though it's the fifth right. podcast that okay. he has, right? Okay. Three, and then three, Chris three, is like, three. oh, I don't have a nickname. What, right on. So was, I don't say so, right so, on. So, yeah. so oh, right on. Our guest is, if you haven't noticed, our guest is back. Return guest. Yes. Uh, Canadian Brad is here. Right on. And you, uh, what have you been doing? Oh, right on, man. I'm just here to sit in. Like, Sass was like, why don't you come down? Because like, can I, we can fucking... I just stop you right there? Right on. No, nobody ever really calls him Sass, you know? Yeah. Right. And, it's and okay. And it's but just... like, I go way back with Sass. So, I, like, no, I, I understand. Yeah. Right on. I, I, yeah. Oh, right just, on. But don't. Or, no, 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 don't. Right on. Don't. Just let him talk, He's saying, please. Right on, I know, so but much, if you start so putting much. boundaries, it might, it might explode. Yeah, okay. It's right. making no, yeah. A so, like, Canadian uh, Brad. Yeah, I grew up with Sass, and like yeah. we we're like I, I was like right on. He came down to like Hollywood, right. like, yeah. and then like so many years later, uh, we're all still so stoked. But what? Okay, can, uh, what, what do you? What uh, is the difference between okay. Americans and Canadians? Do you find now that I don't you're visiting know. for a little while? Oh man, like one thing is it's like way further south. And like of we course. were going, and I like I got down here, and I yeah. realized like the whole way I'm fucking driving. I know, but and I was just fucking driving. That's, that's right. nothing to get here. That's nothing. Like I'm I have saying. a Ford. Well, well, I have a Ford right. F450, right? Well, right. And my girl has like a Ford F150, right? Sure. But I also have an F750, right? Okay. And so we took, but we took the F350. Okay. And I'm a Ford guy, right? Okay. And fucking Sass, he's a fucking Chevy guy, okay. and I'm like fucking because I got on the well, actually on the back of my 650, I got the fucking Calvin and Hobbs, like Calvin pissing on the fucking Chevy right. symbol. Uh-huh. I'm like, don't let fucking Sass you. He'll be uh-huh. so not stoked. Yeah. Right on. Okay. Okay. Uh, right on, no worries, uh, okay. no way. Uh, okay. Right yeah. on. Okay, okay, hold on now, one second. But then Sass has like a fucking Chevy Avalanche up north, and then down here he's got the fucking Chevy Tahoe. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, got enough fucking Chevys there, bud? Well, you have a lot of. Hey. You I have, have a like four. Yeah, I have seven yeah. trucks, right? Okay, seven, so that's including a lot. my girl's why, truck. Why do you have so many? That's well, because like I spent a lot of time in Fort Mac, right? Like Doesn't doing a lot of in the oil sands, right? Oh, and in about a fucking fiscal quarter, I can clear anywhere from four hundred fifty to six hundred thousand dollars. That much right? money? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of fucking oil up there, Whoa, right? What do you so do I with keep that two money? Trucks over there. Jesus. I do whatever I want. I'm fucking so stoked. And like I came down, actually, I fucking came down to Calgary to see you fucking do stand up, and I was like, right on. Okay, wait, hold on one second. Wait, 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 hold on. So you were like, what? I was like, right on. Okay. Now, so you saw him do stand-up, right. and that made you... I was like, right on. I okay. was okay. stoked. Okay. Right. Expand right. on that. What do you mean? Well, like, I fucking drove down. From no, no, I understand no, that. Define- and then you got to... No, hold on. And then you got to the and you got to the show. Right. And then you were like, what? I was like, right on. Okay. And, and what happened when you were... Oh, like when you oh, saw me do stand up, what yeah. happened after that? Oh no! Well, first I fucking saw Brian do stand up, and I was laughing. Yeah, I was like, "No way! This is the same guy from like fucking like Caroline in the city." And right. Veronica's sure, sure, sure. No, no, I wasn't in any of those. Yeah, right, yeah. I was like, right, 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 then the show ended, and you were like, "What?" I was stoked. I wasn't like so I was you, so not stoked that it was over, right? But I was right. like, right on. Okay, now right oh, on. I think, and now I'm I here. Chris you guys. is asking, yeah, yeah. What, what do you mean by right? Yeah, on? what do you mean by right? Oh, on? right on, right on. Yeah. What? Good what does question. that mean? Okay. Right. 
Right on. No, oh. you're not answering the question. I, I oh, think- like, no, because, like, okay, oh, no, I understand. Because, oh. like, sort of different between, like, Canadians and Americans. Right. Yeah. And so it's like, like, for instance, you guys have, like, Thanksgiving in, like, November, right? Yeah. And, like, Canadians, we have it in October. <laughs> right on. Oh, man. So I it's know. like that cultural difference. Not, so that's like, not a difference. If I'm just saying like right on, I drove down from fucking Fort Mac and the fucking Ford F 450. It drives and, me crazy. But besides the. Hold on. I know, but just listen. Yeah, like, yeah, give him a chance. Right he's on. excited. He's excited. Right on. Uh, Brad. I'm stoked. Canadian Brad. Yeah, he's so, definitely so stoked. So besides the fact that the United States is south, yeah. what else do you find maybe is a difference between American. Culture attitude. Oh gonna, yeah, I understand. Stuff way over it. Right. Well, we fucking drove down, right? Me and the lady, no. because Will was like, "Come on down," because sure. we were fucking surfing in like the fucking West Coast, like Tofino, okay. like on the West Coast of yeah. Vancouver okay. fucking sure. island, right? So, because you still get the fucking waves out was there. Was it fun? But yeah, but it's like kind of cold, and okay. I have to wear my fucking dry suit, right? Right. But down here, I can wear a fucking wetsuit or my spring suit. It's all in the RV. I'm so stoked. Jesus, ah, man! Wait, wait, hold on, what, what, what are you? God damn hold on, it, man! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Like, what's so the difference stoked? between the food? Like, what hold do you on, eat up on. there? Right, right, right. You're you stoked. Guy. You're stoked about what? Oh, I'm stoked about c- catching some fucking waves. Yeah, we'll probably right. go down to like Oceanside or like fucking Tamarack Beach, fucking North San Diego County, and that- or even Malibu. My girl would be so stoked because she'll be like, "Hey, Brad, let's fucking go check out okay, a winery." Is there something- and I'll be like, "You're gonna get fucking right pissed and fucking tilt them back. Bring a fucking case of fucking Merlot back." Up hole. Merlot, yeah, Merlot. So you don't get Merlot up yeah, in Canada. Yeah, you get fucking Merlot, but it's like kind of nice to have like the yeah, folks I, I, over I, for dinner I, 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 I little... and bring out some fucking Merlot and be like, yeah, oh, fucking went and checked it out in Northern California. It was fucking. It, we were pretty stoked. It was right on. Okay, oh, God. So Brad, you, you, but don't are, let me get in your way. Okay. No, like okay, because it's the holidays, right? Let's so you can try, like come let's down try, and let's try this. And what do you, do Brad, get? Brad? 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 Right on. Brad. Right on. Um, right on. If you if you were a, a, the emperor of the world, what would you change about the world? Maybe oh, one yeah. or two things. Sure. Oh, I know exactly I think, I what. I think these questions yeah, are just too. I'll tell you big. what. The fucking first thing and the fucking second thing I would change. Uh, okay. Fucking sass is fucking Chevy Avalanche up north, fucking. and his fucking Chevy Tahoe down here. But for the world, he's fucking, that's what that you would do. That motherfucker is ripe with fucking Chevy. And I'm so not fucking stoked. I'm like, Sass, why don't you get into a fucking Ford Expedition if you like those fucking mom vans so much? Got yeah. enough Chevys there, bud? Hey, bud's got enough fucking Chevys, bud? Right on. Okay, fucking guy right. so okay. stoked right. on Chevy. He's smiling, but he seems angry. He's right. so angry. stoked angry. on okay. Chevy, listen, though. Listen, listen, angry. Canadian Brad. Fucking right on. Okay. All right, so wow. that makes you so not stoked is that he has so many oh, Chevys. I'm, he's fucking, okay. No, I'm right, not but I'm, stoked. Okay. On the Chevy. Why don't okay. you like Chevys? He's Why don't you like Chevys? I know. Oh, they seem I'm a like the same Ford truck. Guy. Okay, but you're I'm a Ford, Ford guy. But it's the same what does that truck, mean? really? It's the same. What? No, it's not. Okay, wait. I don't mean Hold to be disrespectful. On, man. But fucking just fucking back up. I've got bud. seven. Look, I got a fucking lot of respect for you. I fucking saw you at the fucking comedy mix in Vancouver. Right. Brought my fucking there. girl. We had a fucking bunch of laughs. We're totally fucking stoked. We're like right on. But don't be like. Fucking shitting on Ford. He's I'm not, not shitting, shitting on Ford. On Ford. Right, He's saying, excuse me. I, I, I used excuse to me. have a Ford. Let I, me handle this. All right, I, on. I what fight. kind of Ford did you have? I actually had a GMC. Right on. Oh, oh, that's a fucking wait. Chevy chassis, you, you fucking the... liar. That's okay. like Sasso. You guys are in the fucking Listen. Chevy Mile High Club there's, there's, with the fucking big tires. You got Chevys big are just as good. fucking on them. You fucking drive through. You can't fucking do it here. There's no snow unless you go to the fucking San Bernardino all right. Mountains. You go fucking... Uh, all right. Hey, hey, hey. Do some fucking donuts. All right. Brad. Canadian oh. Brad. Canadian Brad. Canadian Brad. Right on. This is me. I okay. fucking pull into the Safeway fucking parking lot. If I'm in fucking Fort Mac or yeah. fucking Surrey, BC, where we got the fucking homestead now. I got a nice fucking backyard. I'll even fucking pull it in there. And I'm like. <laughs> and this is me doing a fucking donut. <laughs> and then I get fucking further away because I got like fucking five or six acres out there. And I'm like. <laughs> And then you just fucking hear me over the hill like this. Right on. Right on. You fucking hear me way the fuck out. Right okay, on. Listen, I, 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 I mean, 
You I, I get, are you are the most myopic human being. You really I've ever all met. right, Arm. Thanks. No, 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 no. Myopic is not. You, you gotta explain. Not it's, oh, that's a fucking Japanese car. I'll tell you something no. right now. Is that what you drive? Chevy is just no. as good or better than Ford. T- that's a fact. Fucking take that back. I won't bud. take it. Hey, back, I got no. a lot of fucking respect for fucking seeing you in fucking Calgary. I'm gonna make the fucking drive down from fucking Great. Fort Mac to see him Great. fucking Edmonton. I can like Chevy more. Even though more. I fucking hate the Oilers and the fucking Eskimos, they fucking they fucking suck. I feel like, but I fucking I have respect for you. I'm fucking so stoked on your comedy. Yeah. But don't, like, don't you know, fucking shit on you. Court. A mob of people with your attitude is a very dangerous thing. No, my fucking, you know that? you'd be fucking stoked, dude. You gotta fucking come out to no. BC. I'm a fucking BC boy. We'll fucking tilt him back. All buy right. a fucking two four. And we'll get, yeah, we'll get some fucking old Dutch fucking chips no. and a fucking coffee crisp. And you'll be so stoked. I you'll won't. be so stoked. Nope. You'll be so stoked. Nope. You'll be so stoked. Hey, Brian. Yeah. How are things going with your new phone? All right, man. I don't know. I'm just trying to learn how to use it. That's all, bro. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast. Welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. You buy some on Amazon, you go to 10minutepodcast.com. Hit the Amazon banner, buy our merch, get our live show. There's all sorts of things at 10minutepodcast.com. My name is Will the Shredded Bear Sasso. No. I'm, I'm Brian the Kid Cow. No, and I'm Chris Delia, and I, unlike these guys, don't have a nickname because I'm Ryan, which is his one. Okay. <laughs> it's getting lazier and lazier. Uh, here's what's up. I want to talk about something. Brian, for the longest time, our audience has been making fun of you because we've been making fun of you about your yep. phone choices. Yeah. And uh, you had an iPhone. It's kind of standard. I do. Chris and I like it because we can iMessage you in the same thread. Yeah, I then, had the iPhone 6 Plus. And, and, oh. and you killed the bit by giving it away. And I wish you could see the look on Chris's face. I'm fucking believable. He's this just guy. realizing now. Gosh. Chris is just realizing now what he's looking at. Do you believe this, Chris? Look at what he's got. He replaced one phone the size of a remote and we control were, one car. of the main things we made fun of him about was that was the size of a fucking pop tart box watch videos yeah. man a, bo- a box of pop tarts and, 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 and come in a box and a costco box of pop tarts i can watch like 18 pop tarts i can watch videos too but also i like it to be bigger like on the screen when you i wear watch these. such tight pants with the tiniest little pockets you wear these 80s jordash no i don't you were wearing skinny jeans when they were called designer that's in not the true 80s. <laughs> in the 80s no that's not true yeah now they're called skinny jeans cuz no one remembers the 80s uh, and you can't even fit that I in do. your pocket. It's hanging out the back of your pocket, dude. So, that's so big. Why? Why did you look at that one and you were like, "Yeah, that one"? Because it it says plus, <laughs> and I wanted to be. That's better. It has I better... just looked over before we started recording. I was like, "Oh, we got to talk about this." Oh, hey, man. Hey, yeah, I'm on my way. You got it's closed before nine, right? Hey, hey, bro, you can't take. Yeah, a phone I'll be call. there. Right, I'll well, be there. I'll listen. be there in about fifteen minutes. Who are you talking let to? Let us listen. Thank you. Bye. Wait, let us listen. Who is that? Who's that? Dude, I run a fucking tight ship, dude. Okay. What does that mean? What's... I have a fucking... I got a... On my phone, on my smaller phone, I got a call. I got to pick up my fucking dogs, all right? So they, they got washed and groomed. All right. So as I, much as... So I... eat dicks hey, and resume. you oh got my a God, dog that I... needs to be washed and groomed... Hold on a you're second. You're not a man. Well, well, fuck that. Hold on. I thought it was rude enough to take a fucking call while we're recording. Now this guy says eat dicks. Resume. Yeah. And resume. No. Hey, dude, you can't just order no, us around like that. you entitled fucking fur girl. I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> You, tell you me, lazy you dolphin. Yeah. Look at you. You got your. I th- he's got another pair of Nike shoes I've never seen before. Yeah, I hate your shoes, by the he's way. He's got so many I pairs can't of stand perfectly your... clean Nike shoes. You know how many fucking of my phones I can fit in my shoes? Maybe four. You know how many of yours I can fit in my shoes? Zero, because they're too big. You are. Your phone's too big. And you're it's fucking, not too big. By by whose standard? What metric? I'm allowed to have. You know why? You know by whose standard? Phone. You know by whose standard? Uh, your phone. Uh, iPad. Your phone? Yeah, iPad. The iPad's Please. getting smaller. The phone's getting bigger. Pretty soon the phone's going to be bigger than the iPad. Whoa. Zing. I disagree. Man. Let me tell you something. I want you guys to uh, visit our Twitter at 10MinPod and our Facebook slash 10MinPod to see a picture of just Chris's shoes as a form of protest. These protest? Shoes are cool, dude. Hmm, protest. They're as not a form cool. of protest. These shoes are cool. I don't even have Chris in the picture. I just see Brian being angry at Chris. And, and you can take a look at his shoes at the. Oh, no. No, no, no. Brian, don't. Brian.
Brian, I'm sorry. I don't. You're not. Sorry. I am. But you I, stood up to do it. It just like, sorry. Chris pisses me off, and then I don't care anymore about anything. Dude, Brian, don't. This is the most ten minute podcast episode of ten minute podcast sorry, ever. We talked about your stupid phone. Your phone sucks. You called Chris a you fucking suck. new. I don't say my, lazy my dolphin, iPhone. And then you farted in the mic. Hey, I'm sorry. Get now, the smaller now one. Now Chris is. Get, he's giving me the finger because the I have finger. a. Five, I got the iPhone Plus six. All right, now six plus now. Go to our, our Twitter this. and our Facebook just to see Get a this. picture. I'm adding Chris giving Stop. Brian the finger. Stop giving me the to finger. it. I'll Get break the, the finger one. off. Get the smaller one. I'll, t- I'll, I'll do to you what a cop said to me one time in New York City when I gave him the finger. What? He goes, I'll, you give me the finger again, I'll break it off and stick it up your ass. He didn't say that. He did. Why'd you of flip a cop did. off? Because I didn't see his uniform. He wasn't wearing his hat, and he, and he was beeping at me. And I gave him the finger, and the minute he came out, I go, I'm sorry, officer. I didn't know, I didn't know you were a cop. I gave him respect. You... You would have pooed your pants, and you would have big. You would have gone like this, and then he would have smacked you in the fucking mouth. You're just trying to get us off if the he top broke, of your If he broke phone. your his finger, if he broke your finger off and put it in your ass, his, you could sue him. Well, I don't I, think there that would be way. some. There would be some. There would at least him. be some papers to fill out. No, yeah. Yeah. Like you could be on Twitter and start a um, uh, movement. No, what I would do, unlike you, is I'd say, well, take your badge off. I'll meet you anywhere you want. Brian, you get, no, no, no. Oh. Nothing's coming out. Oh, no, that was a weird one. <laughs> that was the smallest. By the way, what kind of jeans are those that you have a mustache what are you on doing? the back of his Don't jeans? Don't do it. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Brian has a mustache on the back Stop of his farting. jeans. No, take a picture. He's got a fucking, what are those, mustache jeans? <laughs> what? No, dude, take a picture okay, of that fucking mustache. Take... Oh, my God. What did you do? Win those? You fucking... What kind of jeans are okay, those? They're so, made especially for me. What, so, for, by who? A fucking strong man? All right, so go... Why do you have a fucking... I don't know. I don't have to tell you everything about my <laughs> well, jeans. Yeah, did a 1920s carnival strong man <laughs> You guys make are being super jeans? mean to me. Fuck you. It's gang up on Brian Day just because I got a bigger phone. No, it's not. Dude, everything you own is wrong. You have a fucking big ass phone. No. You have jeans with a mustache so on them. So what, man? Stop picking on me. You're the kind of guy that in, in, in school I used to beat the shit out of because they were picking on me. No. That's the difference to me. I didn't get fucking bullied. You can't beat I me up, dude. Oh, my God. You can't beat me up, dude. Bro, I'll beat your dude, ass. Dude, fuck that, man. I got. Oh, my God. I got a PhD in kicking your oh, ass. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That's, me- hey, did you get that line from the cop who said he'd break your finger off and shove it in your yeah, ass? Dude. No, but I beat That's his pretty, ass, too. You know what, you know what that and is? I'll say something else. That, that line is about as 80s as your fucking jeans hey, listen. with the mustache <laughs> on them. <laughs> Hey, I got a PhD in kicking yeah, ass. and I beat your ass Is that ass the line too. Roddy Piper real, didn't I... say in They Live when he instead chose to say, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum yep. and I'm I'll all beat, out of bubblegum? I'll gum? beat your ass, That is the most Canada 80s boy. shit hey, Canada, I've ever heard. Shut the fuck up. I'll beat your ass, too. Brian, don't you don't you point at me. Shut, We've been through I'll this before. I'll beat your ass, too. Don't, Brian? I'll beat your ass. Brian, let me tell you because something. Because I'll tell you I'll something. Take, what would I'll you take, do? I'll, you I'll take a swing and you hear this. You want to call me Canada boy? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take your jeans off. I'm going to pull down on your jeans. And if my hand also has a handful of your pubes and bang, dick bang, 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 and they bang, come bang. off with your jeans bang, that's bang. fine yes. then I'm gonna dip bang, bang, those bang. in maple syrup I'm hitting you in the face and I'm gonna shove them down no. your throat and bang. I tell you, you what Brian bang, bang. I'm gonna Peppering keep feeding you maple bang, syrup bang, jeans bang, bang, bang. until you are my bang, size bang. so it's a fair fight and then I'm gonna show off my doctorate in kicking ass I'm gonna slap you around the fucking room no cause I'm gonna go I'm gonna... gay oh no oh no what I had to guys oh my god this is amazing I know it's amazing I'm gay I fucked Two guys. Ah, pictures Chris, of Chris with guys. You're, you're you're coming out on the show. Yeah. Well, that's incredible. I suck. Oh, I suck. Yeah, you uh, suck. You know. suck. It sounds like you're doing anonymous stuff, though. Yeah. Guys. Yeah, guys. This is incredible. Guys, this is the most. 10-minute podcast, episode of 10-minute podcast of all time. Brian tried to fart in the mic. He's got a super huge phone. He called Chris a fur girl. I called him a lazy dolphin. Dolphin? Dolphin? Hmm? I said, hmm, that's a very 10-minute podcast. We were talking about his shoes. Brian tried to threaten me. He farted in the mic. Did I mention that? I didn't try to threaten you. I and, did threaten you. Right, and I threatened you back, and it was better than yours. And then uh, Chris came out. This is a, uh, this is a monumental achievement it's of podcasting. A good, it's a good podcast. It's only for the efficient. Also, of the Brian went bang, 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 bang. Because I would, I'd, I'd, I'd be punching you. In I, the I, face. I, I, bang, bang, bang. How are you going to hit me, dude? Your your molasses slow. Am I really? Yeah, and I'm you stepping, seen me and hop I'm around? stepping, and I'm shucking, I'm roll, 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 bang, bang. Okay, roll, let's be roll, honest. Bang, bang. Let's yeah. be honest. I haven't, I haven't hopped around, and and shucked an arm and pulled your leg. Stop showing me money. Now Chris is showing me super mad. Show me. So he's 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 watching us. Show me what you do. First thing you do when you come in on me. I don't have to show you. What do you do? I, here's what I do. You don't know what to do. Here's what I do. You don't know what to do. I'm I'll moving. I'm moving all over the place. I'll suck your dick. Oh, are you Chris. coming out? I don't care. Chris. I'll suck your dick. I'll suck your dick. I'll suck your dick. I'll suck your dick. I'll suck your dick.
such an aggressive this way This isn't to come gay out. stuff. This is weird, like like anonymous stuff. You're it's getting so all self-destructive. I'll pay you. Oh no, wow. Chris! You're being you're in a oh, hurry. you're pathetic. You're really in a hurry, Chris. Your body's all hunched over. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. No, you're you're gnawing. Oh, you're gnashing man. your teeth. Dicks are no, uh, no, uh, Chris. No, no, don't eat them. Don't Chris, eat your them. head's your head's lollygagging to one side. <laughs> oh. oh God, guys, this was. Chris, you smell bad. Oh man. <laughs> Hey, this is the most ten minute podcast podcast. What would you do? What would you seriously try to do? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not standing time, still. Like, you can't even time. see where I'm at. Brian, okay, I, let's. I'll, I'll do I this your way. You I'll once. do this your way. I just hit I'll you do again. This oh, hey, geez. you out of your fucking mind? Fuck Chris, you! You Chris just hit me in the hit, ear, bro. He hit Brian in the face. Now, my ear's gonna be red now. Doesn't matter. I don't, doesn't matter to me. Well, it doesn't hurt me. I will beat the shit out of you, bro. I'll punch you right in the you chest. You can't do that. I'll fucking fuck you up with my legs. No, no, no. You'll get. How are you gonna fuck me up? With I, your I legs? got leg. I got leg. My legs go fucking. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey Ow, that watch hurts. it. There, see that? See that? He's getting a little tap. tap. See, little right in your tap. fucking. Ah, there you go. Oh. There you go. Right there. Oh, he's Stop got fighting. good foot defense. Right in your te- tooth, right there. Right there. Your tooth. Oh, your tooth. Oh. Guys, watch it. Watch gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. Hey, don't say that while you do. Don't mix those things. It's so weird. I feel good. Yeah, me too. I'm nervous. I feel good, man. I'm nervous. Actually. I'm happy to share, and I feel good. Yeah. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast. Welcome to our beloved 10-Minute Podcast. You want to buy something on Amazon, you know, you go to 10minutepodcast.com, you hit the Amazon banner. That's how you do it. Yeah. And uh, hit all our banners and stuff. We got the live show. We got merchandise. We got all this stuff. Hey, buy our live show and get uh, rate and review us on iTunes. Subscribe on iTunes. Yeah. Uh, my name is Will, the chief engineer of Laughter and Cheer Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callen. And Chris D'Elia is not with us. And I'm glad he's not because this gives us a, a, a unique opportunity, Brian, to share to something. work on something. We've yeah. been working on and we're very excited about. It. And we just said, fuck it. We well, have I, a podcast. I think, I think both of we us. We can share it here. Well, both of us kind of are tired of doing just comedy. We, we're known as comedy. Yeah. And one well, of the things I, I, I cut my teeth on drama. Well, I did a series uh, growing up in Canada for five years. It was uh, yeah, you critically said that, acclaimed. No, you it's said that 15 times on this podcast. Actually, over 100, and over again. 150 times you said yeah, that on this podcast. Awards everywhere, but in the United times. States. So, sure. you know, I, I, I'm not tired of doing just yeah. comedy because I've always been doing drama. Well, well that, I'm an actor. Everybody knows that. Well, I've always been yeah, doing you, drama. You never miss an opportunity. Right. Like that. And that's okay. And that's okay. You're proud of it. So here's the thing. Uh, Brian and I, uh, yeah. proud to announce here that yeah. we've been working on a two-man show. It's a sort of a one-act play. It's a two-man play. It's something we're kind of workshop and do you want to tell them the it. setting yeah it's really uh it's a fun concept it's called two guys in a car i think well that's the working we title we've also th- i think it should be called teetering um it's two guys in a Bri- car brian thinks it should be called living on the edge and i'll tell you why yeah. even though brian asked me to set it up and then he started talking yeah, here's the, the show takes place where these two guys have been driving along like a country pass uh, like a mountain pass rather and they're driving along and they're way out and they they hit uh they hit this like cliff thing and the car spins out ice right? slick yeah ice slick yeah. sure that'll do it and uh, they end up in sort of like in the movies where you see the car just just teetering on the edge right and you just don't want to move you don't want to move because if you move the car will go all the way over right yeah. it's like uh, I haven't seen it but didn't that happen in Thelma and Louise something like that yeah probably okay I don't want to watch it because then we'll be like creatively derivative right uh, in our show in, in teetering I want to call it again I think teetering I just I like that. I, I feel like that's a little on the nose. But living on the edge is, just sounds like an Aerosmith song because it's living an Aerosmith edge, song. Two guys in a yeah. car. Well, the that the, no, the name doesn't matter. We'll come living up with it. Living on the edge is pretty good though. Well, because they're both they're they're confronting who they are in this moment. Til- what about Tilton? <sighs> All right. Look, we'll get back to that. The point is this. Brian and I like to get together. We like to work on these scenes. We write them. And one of the ways to to get into it is we just sort of improvise uh, these two characters yeah. who, um, you know, are they're – very, they're very interesting guys. Brian's character is named Mitch. And Mark, he, do, he doesn't think like it's that. Mark, man. I don't yeah, like okay. Mitch. Your Mitch, name is Mark. Wes. No, my name is not Wes. We've Wes? been through this. No, no, no. It's I'm, a good name. I'm Eddie. Know. Okay, so you're. But Eddie what are you, is so Mark? New York, Will. All right, you know? we we can change the names later. Right, it doesn't fine. matter what the fuck the names are. Uh, so Jim and John or whatever, it doesn't matter, Brian. That part doesn't matter. What matters is the drama, and uh, we're just going to improvise part of the scene now. They're 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 looking back on their life. They're wondering if it's over. It's yeah. reflections. It's stuff like that. They're yeah. teetering, and uh, uh, and go. so we'll, let's let's join uh, let's join uh, Steve and Dwight as they're uh, in the middle of the scene. Okay. <laughs> Hey, calm down. Calm down. 
that. Okay, calm down. But wait, Brian, Brian. I'm not saying calm down in the character right now. I'm telling you to calm down. He's in, he's literally about to go over I know, a cliff, but, man. But this is we're just yeah, but in, I'm making choices okay, I, here. I, I don't, they're very, very wow, strong choices. Man. Yeah, and here's that's what important. I'm saying. We have our audience. I literally minute, didn't even get a chance to do hold anything. on. This is our 10 minute podcast audience. Yeah. Let's introduce them to it slowly. Well, right? so this I'm is in a part, car, bro. I don't yeah, know but how they've else been you want sitting to do in it. the car for like an hour and well, a bit. Well, then they could die any minute. I know, but at this point, they're a little wow. So okay, can you not? All right. So so okay. So it's Bruce and Trent, and they're in the car. You're Bruce. I'm Trent. A little bit less sauce, man. Just, you can't direct me, you bro. Gotta put you got to You got to let me do. You got to put a little less salt and let, pepper on that steak. You got to let man. me do what I'm doing, man. Yeah, I know, bro. I've done a lot of acting, just and I know little, how I would be. Just a little less. I know sauce, how I'd be. You should probably back the off the mic. Well, I'm too. scared of, of heights. All right, don't worry about please that. Please don't. All right. please don't direct me, man. All right, okay. Greg, how are you feeling, man? You said it was Bruce. Okay, whatever. Which name do you want? Bruce. Let's get man. that out of the way. All right, I'm Trent. You're Bruce. You guys. Okay. Trent. I'm Trent. You're Bruce. Here we go. And fucking halfway through the fucking show now. Come this on. is our process. I got it. This guy's crazy. You're Bruce. I'm Trent. Don't be shivering. Try not to shit yourself. I'm scared, bro. Back off the mic, bro. I'm in the scene. I'm scared. Back off the mic, Trent. Bro. I'm scared, man. Oh, here. See what he I'm did? I'm scared. And action. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I know you're scared, Bruce. We're all scared, but scared of what? I'm scared Life of happenings dying. to what the do you living. Think, man? Hold on. Let me finish my line. God. Hold on. Life happens to the living. And when it's over, you can't take it with you. I know, Trent. I don't even know what that means right now. I just want to get home to my kids, man. I don't want them to grow up with some other dude raising them. And I don't want to die like this. Hey, man, no one's going to die. How do you know, man? This car, if I even move, this car's going to go over this cliff. Yeah, well, I'll tell you one thing you can do to help our situation out is stop crying because you keep teetering the car back and forth. All right. Yeah. Just, sorry. Just try to relax. Try to breathe. I have something I want to say to you. What's that? Okay. Don't get mad. No, I'm not going to get mad, man. Okay. You know, Tommy. Tommy's a great kid. You mean my son? Yeah. You know, like sometimes joking around, we're like, that kid looks just like me. Like who, Dwight? Bruce? It's like, like me, right? <laughs> you know? What are you saying? I'm saying just things happen sometimes. That's all I'm saying. And they weigh on you hard. And sometimes you get in a situation where you don't know if you're going to make it. You want to come clean before you meet your maker. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you again. We're going to get out of here. But if you're saying what I think you're saying, you're lucky we're in a car teetering, living on the edge. I mean teetering. Because if it wasn't for that, man, I'd be across this car Kicking your ass. I know, man. Please just calm down. I'm, I guess maybe I'm telling you this because I'm afraid of you and you're bigger and I know you'd kick my ass and I just want to say this to get it off my chest in case we don't make Yeah. Uh, don't worry about it, Craig. I got something to tell you. What? You remember that time you were helping out your wife with her book club? and Yeah, You guys sure. had that, that bake sale? Uh-huh. And I went to help your wife? Yeah. Well, I did a little more than help your wife with the bake sale. Oh, 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 I'm confused. You know those brownies that everybody liked? Yeah, sure. I shit in those, and I also fucked your wife. Ah, uh, okay, that's a little too much, right? God damn it, dude! Yeah. Well, no, Why I don't would know. You shit in the brownies and then fuck my wife. I don't Man, know. Because also, you that said, was my. I just. You did, said that you. That was my have, thing, and you, you sired, copied my, my. You sired my, my kid. Yeah. Yeah, and so instead and then of going I say with I that, shit. you chose to say I shat in brownies. I, I, and th- th- I fucked your wife. Yeah, I mean. It's, it's too much. It's too much. I think so. But this is good because we show the the audience what our process is. Well, I just wanted to be in a situation where I say that to you and you can't hit me because the car will go over. Right. That's and good. You gotta well, take okay. It. Let's take it from there. Let's take it from there. Fuck. All right. Okay. Just don't move, man. I'm not. Please don't you move. You're I lucky guess we're I'm... in a car teetering on the edge, or it'd be a different story for you right now. I'll yeah, you that. you'd probably kick Jim. the shit out of me, or maybe Jim. even kill me. John, Jim. It's, What's your name? It's fucking. It's Bruce. Bruce, Bruce. Bro. You have to get my name. It doesn't. The names it don't matter. It does matter because I'm trying to stay in character. And if you call me John, I'm right. like, uh, you know, living on the edge is good. By the way, I think that I think. <sighs> Can I'm we just keep doing that. the scene, bro? No, we don't have a whole lot of time left. Well, I mean. We can keep going. Yeah, All right, you, let's take it from. Okay, we got like a few, few little, little I while mean, left. Let's let's you have shoot to way forward. Me and you're really no, 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 mad. We're, we're way over that now, Fuck. and now we're talking about good times. Good times. All right. Yeah, that was the best summer of my life, man. 
I'd give anything to be back on that lake right now. Hey, remember when we were in Wyoming and we saw those antelope and we yeah. pulled out those guns and we were like, let's not shoot the antelope. Yeah. Oh, they, we just, we were so drunk. We let <laughs> loose and oh, they looked man. like paper bags blowing yeah. in the wind after we were done. Those are the sort of memories you wonder if you're dreaming. It was but so I'll bad, tell you right? What, what wasn't a dream, me fucking your wife. I did it again. You know, man, yeah. I was trying to go with you there. Yeah. And it's not, yeah. I don't think you would. I don't think the character would say it that aggressively. No, he wouldn't be. Like, you know what I mean? Even though you know that they, your kid is now my kid. Yeah. Like, I just feel like that would be a little bit. Do you think that's a little too much? Yeah, I do. I do think it's a little. Okay, too can much. you stop saying that then? Fuck you. Yeah. What if the show? Okay, now just go with me. We only have a few seconds left here. What if they're in the car on the edge, are gonna yeah. fall, and but the whole thing's called "I fucked your wife." <sighs> oh, how about we call it a hundred ways to fuck your wife? I don't know that that is what we're trying to work at. Because but that's what they're they're talking about. That my character, that Trent fucked Bruce's wife. Yeah. And they're in a car and they're gonna fall. So we both fucked each other's wives. No, I, you only you sired my child through artificial insemination. What? But I why? Fucked, but I fuck to... your wife on the reg. No. Like all the time. I don't get that plot twist. I think it's pretty good. Hey, Brian. What's your favorite sandwich? What? What's your favorite sandwich? Come on. I don't know. Some podcasts are slow. And you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10 Minute Podcasts. Uh, um, um, pardon me. Hey, welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. You want to buy something on Amazon, you go to the 10-Minute Podcast. Hey, go to the banner, Amazon. guys. For real, go to the, the banner. banner. If you want to buy anything on Amazon, If you, you enjoy the show, tweet about it and Facebook about it. Why? All right? What do you think of that? Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, do it. Nah. And then, it doesn't but, matter. But for sure, subscribe to us on iTunes and uh, rate and review it there. And buy our, our uh, live show. You can get it everywhere. Our live show is very funny. Yeah, I mean, on, you guys were very iTunes. funny. I was a little off. A, no, no, you don't. No, you were not. No, off, I was right? good. I was no, good. You were really I mean, I'm always amazing. All right, but 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 you were a little off because you were sitting uh, right next to me, so that would by proxy make no. you a little off. I if was, we're grading this on the curve. Yeah, on. you were at the bottom of that hill, uh, no, Sasso Mountain. That's not true. I'm uh, just well, more subtle. I'm well, more you of said a it. Subtle performer. Well, no, not as subtle as me. It kind of got kind of got it all kind of got it all from all You're aspects. Broad. No, I'm not broad. Broad actor. Very subtle. Here's my character. No, 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 no. New no, York. No, that's see that now I know you don't even know what you're talking about because that's not what a New York guy would sound. You want to hear my subtle New York guy? Yeah. You want to hear how subtle my subtle yeah, New York ahead, guy is? Go ahead, go Ready? Go Ready? Go ahead, go no, ahead. Don't do don't do David Greco. Ready? Not. Nah. You're doing it. See, you're ripping my shit off. Gone. You're bit stealing. Good. Okay, ready? Good. Here's my subtle New York guy. See how fucking subtle that was? See? That was actually really it good. It was very, very subtle. Yeah. My name is Will, the chief engineer of Laughter and Cheer Sasso. You know, you can't change your nickname up every single time. It's kind okay. of ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm my... Brian the Kid Callan. All right. And... Still got it. Still got it. I feel like changing my name to Brian Still Got It Callan. Well. <laughs> I'm, no, it's an idea. It doesn't yeah. matter. There's you get a lot Brian, of ideas. Crystal Brian... is not here. so No, uh, he's not. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Right? Do you give a shit that no, he's not here? No, I don't miss him one teeny tiny bit. <laughs> Don't miss, don't miss Drippy Locks checking his phone. Don't miss Drippy <laughs> Locks saying, "I gotta be out of here, guys. I only got an hour." <laughs> wait, don't so, miss him. Wait, don't so, miss him. Wait, are you telling me that Drippy Locks looks at his phone while we're while we're recording? Drippy if he's not Locks. here, just remember he's not here to defend himself. I don't want to plan anything. Ooh, whoops! <laughs> no, I'm gonna phone it in. <laughs> All right, man. No, Calm down. no, you all right. You all right. All right. I've had it with that guy. Yeah, that's had it with his social media. Had it with his uh, success. Yeah. Had well, it with that's all. That's very of jealous. Had showing... it with him taking pictures of himself with his shirt off. Yeah, that's that for sure. Punch I'm, him out. I'm, I'm I'm finished with that. But I'll tell you what I really like right now what? is this subtle New York guy you're doing. Thanks, buddy. It's very natural. I actually bought all of it. I appreciate that. I'm really thinking about changing things up, man. Yeah. I'm actually thinking about getting a tattoo. Why? Um, Don't do that. No, because I just think that You're I've a always grown wanted. Man. To, yeah, that's the thing is I always wanted one, couldn't figure out what I wanted to get. So I might get something really cool. I might just, you know, I'm trying to figure out what exactly it is, but I want it to have symbolic power. But you're, I, but I want it to be multi colors. And, right. You said you always wanted one. I've never yeah. wanted one. 
Yeah. Yeah. But, that makes but, sense that you wouldn't want one. Well, though. no, that doesn't make. Don't jump to conclusions about. Oh, I wouldn't. Want, what would you? Really oh, well, you, 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 skin loaf, you giant, you giant, well, you, you giant dough. And if, then if I If you said, were to get a, if you, I'm not, if you were to get a tattoo of how, bread, why, why would you, why bread, would you ruin, why would you ruin your, your perfect alabaster, uh, that's not what I was sloping thinking. gigantic frame. No. Um, I would get if I were you. You could get several tattoos. You could get. I could get a lot of tattoos. Yeah, a piece of bread. No. Or a bagel. <laughs> no. Something like that, right? No. Right? I don't want, no. Oh, don't I don't look know. at me. Okay. Don't look at me. But here's the reason. A golden I would, retriever. One of the reasons I would never get it. <laughs> right? I mean, no. right? <laughs> Wrong. Could you get that? Wrong. One okay. of the reasons I'd never get a tattoo mm. is because uh, I'm an actor. You're an actor. Yes. Right? So you don't want to get a tattoo because then it'll fuck it up. I look at Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I'm like, dude, this guy's got all the Samoan tattoos down the one side. Yeah. He's got the Brahma Bull on the other side. You got to wear. The, but The Rock it. also is doing, you know, a project after a project sure. where where they're gonna cover up what they need to cover up. That's right. Or give them more tattoos if they need to or whatever. Yeah. But you know, and that's the I'm thing. Not, I'm not doing that. I, I just think a so tattoo. I even think as an actor, oh, they're not gonna hire me. Because yeah. I've got a bunch of tattoos down to my wrist, or maybe I would get sleeved out. Yeah, you could get sleeved out, but you, they put, probably wouldn't hire you anyway. Like, hey, man. Hey, you man. Know what I mean, though? No, no, no. Don't. You know you're being I mean? very passive aggressive this episode. I don't like it. I don't I got be, two questions for sure. you. Sure. But I need you to be the opposite of Brian Callen and answer 100%. it quickly. Number one, first question is yeah. what tattoo would you get if you're going to get a tattoo? Real quick, don't even think about it. A bull. A bull. Yeah. A bull or but, a bull. But, but that's not true. Would you I put don't a bull said... on me? Would it be a bowl of, uh, of you would grits get, you'd or get oatmeal? A, you would uh, 100% get a bowl of oats. <laughs> on my stomach. Sure, a bowl of oats on your stomach. <laughs> Or a bowl of dough or yeah. a bowl of bread. Yeah, you know, and it get like, like you. Tupac used to have thug life on his stomach. Yes. And mine yes. would just say carb life. <laughs> carb life would be fantastic for With you. a bowl of just, some undistinguished uh, just white, white <laughs> uh, yeast. Get okay. yeast and hops. So you're getting a bowl. You're getting I a don't bowl. think so. I'm sorry okay. that I spoke out of line. Yeah, but see, but that's the kind of thing that a 19 year old Brian Callen yeah. would do, like on vacation in I Cabo, know. is get a fucking bull. And I'm happy that you don't have it. I, now, I think I know what I want. Now, here's my second yeah. question. Because uh, but bull's fine. Bull, it doesn't but, matter. Because you're never getting it. Can I change it? That's not what this podcast okay. is about. Actually, I've decided yeah. that fuck that. Okay. This is what I'm deciding about this podcast. Okay. Fuck that shit. All right. Well, here's no, what. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> here's here's what the podcast is really about. Yeah. What sort of things would be different about Brian Callen? And I'll answer some of this too with the time that we have. Yeah. Um, what would be different about you if you were not an actor? If you weren't in showbiz? I'd be a teacher. You would be a teacher. Be okay, a teacher. now Brian Callen, the teacher. Does Brian Callen, the teacher, have tattoos? Probably. Yeah, and, and, yeah, because yeah. you can, because you're not worried about the things that I just laid out. Yeah, right? and I would have tattoos of sayings, you know? Oh, cool, Scripture, man. Scripture. Would uh, you put them just completely straight up horizontal across your ribs sideways and then take pictures in black and white on Instagram I where you just maybe, seem to be sleeping or resting? Why did someone take that picture? It's certainly not a photographer. It's just your girlfriend taking a picture of you. That's dumb. Don't Instagram that. Would you do that like people do? Well, I think also it's important for your students to know that there's another side to you. You know, you're oh, not okay. just a nurturing man who points you in the right direction. I'll tell you what I would do if I wasn't an actor. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I would do professionally. Probably, I've always been uh, sort of um, not super into it, but I've always loved, uh, you know, the outdoors and stuff. Astronomy has always fascinated me. So let's nerd, skip that nerd, part. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nerd, yeah. There. Okay. Um, let's skip that part of it or a craftsman of some sort. Have you heard about this recently? There was a football player who turned down a giant contract to become a farmer. Yes. You did hear about this. Yes. Okay. So we all sort of sometimes. That's kind of a fantasy of mine, to be honest with you. To, yeah. It's, to, it, to it, live it, on a farm. It actually is to be able to do something with your hands. To grow and build things. and grow things. Yeah. Yes. Um, that, that would pull me somewhere to, to find something in the great unknown or to actually build something <laughs> that people can use. Uh, but, you know, well, I do sort Jesus of do that. Jesus was a carpenter, right? That, that's right. He was. And I build laughs. I build laughs for people. I build uh, thoughts when see, people watch my dramatic work and they, they're, and they just enjoy it. And yeah. I just care that I you, knew you, were gonna you come home from, from your day of work and no. you enjoy it. And, uh, but here's, here's what I would do. I would have – I would be – I'm a big dude, but I'd, yeah. I'd gain weight like, like who oh. gives a shit. Whoa. And I would have a Garth Brooks, like uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin goatee straight up. Okay, but and I don't care. I know, but but will what would you would you get a tattoo? This kind of took a weird turn because you were trying yeah. to talk about no, no, no. I, that's what value. I'm saying. I wouldn't. Uh, nah, I don't care about the tattoo. No if, tattoo. I, if I had a tattoo, I'd have the most manliest tattoo just on my shoulder. Which would be? It would be very normal. A battle axe. Uh, yeah, something even dumber than that. Yeah. 
Just like a, like a like a, a band of some you know kind? what it'd be like a cartoon tire with like the dust being kicked up underneath it, yeah. and it's going so fast and it's spinning out that it's like kind of a, a sideways oh. oval. And it's like oh here we yeah. go or something just, I don't even give a Cheetos. shit about. <laughs> no, not Cheetos. I don't know. <laughs> don't be like no, I, don't I don't know. know. I don't know what you would. What get. else would be different imagine. about you if you weren't an actor? Well, I think that real uh, quick for, for we the have most part, I'd be one hundred percent be a black belt in jujitsu, no. and I would box. And More I'd things. Be a, I'd be a ranked tennis player. What would you? And I would speak fluent French because I tell you what. I tell you what. You know what's one thing we've talked about is that you know we're out here. You you're married. You have two kids. I'm not married. Um, if I wasn't an actor and I was in some sort of other field, yeah. uh, you could be damn sure I'd probably be married to my high school sweetheart and I'd have 18 kids. That's a good, that's, well, I'll tell you the other thing. I definitely, if I wasn't an actor, I definitely wouldn't have gotten near the amount of tail mm-hmm. on that. <laughs> not to be, uh, you know, but listen, I was in, yeah. I'm a regular, I'm, I'm all right looking, but yeah. I'm not getting tail <laughs> without my modicum of sometimes working yeah. actor celebrity. Well, I mean, hey, let me add to this. I, 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 let me add milked, to this. I milked that like, right. a, like a farmer with I'm big th- hands. I'm 39 years old, so let's slide the door to that parallel universe where I'm not an actor. Sure. I'll tell you one thing about this. I You're am, still a virgin. Yeah, I'm still a virgin, yeah. even though I have 18 kids. Yeah. And uh, I'm not even, I didn't even cut it to become an astronomer. I would just do that as a hobby because I work in a warehouse uh, wheeling those wheels around, yep. pushing them. That's why I have, and it all comes back to the tattoo on the shoulder. I'm like, this is what I missed. This is my opportunity. Now I just push wheels Cheerio. around. Cheerio. Around a, no, not Cheerio. No. No. What are we doing, Mom? We are doing a podcast. Podcast? Yeah. Did I say right? Yeah. Last time you said broadcast. Oh. <laughs> I prefer it when you call it a broadcast. Broadcasting. Yeah, broadcasting. <laughs> Some podcasts are so and you don't know how Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. You want to go to 10minutepodcast.com, hit all the banners, do all the things, tell everybody to listen to the show, and you subscribe, rate, and review the show. You got into all that. We don't have a whole lot of time to spend on that because this is a very special episode. Uh, Brian Callen, Chris D'Elia are not here, and I'm being joined for the second time on the podcast, or sometimes the broadcast, as my mom says, by my adorable Italian mother. Hello, Ma. Hi, William. How are you? I am perfect. <laughs> yeah, good, good. I think you're perfect. Yes. Yeah. Um, Mom, this is the second time you've you've done the show. Yes. We had another episode, which you should go back and listen to if you haven't heard it. Stop this right now. Go back and listen to <laughs> Will's adorable Italian mother. And that was uh, the last time you you come out here to visit me quite a lot. But of then, course, but yeah. you but uh, you were on the show a year and a bit ago. Yeah. And last time we were celebrating your fiftieth wedding anniversary. Yes. And at this yeah. point, as we record this, you and Dad have been married for over fifty one years. Yes. And together for 60 years. Yes. And you'd think that'd be enough for Babo to come. Bob, when I say Babo, that's Italian for dad. Uh, to come join us down here. No. Yeah, but they would never do No, he would never do that. He's no. a man of few words. Yeah. And he doesn't have time for this. Okay, so, uh, Mom, it's the holidays. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you guys are here as we record this. And then pretty soon I'm going to be up in Canada with you yes. guys yeah. for uh, Christmas. Celebrate the Christmas with yeah, us. Yeah, that's nice. Of course, yeah. So I thought it would be nice to have you on the show. It's yeah. it's a departure from what we normally do. And you guys, you, Mom, you never listen to the uh, to the ten minute podcast, right? No, no, and that's a good Sorry. thing. Sorry. And you know, Mom, <laughs> I want to tell you something, and I want to tell everyone listening something. My mother is sitting right next to me, um, you know, just off to my left, which is normally where Brian sits. But uh, you're not using Brian's microphone. I have Chris's microphone in front of your face, and uh, loyal listeners of the show will know why. Do you know why you're not using Brian's microphone today? No. Because I love my mother more than anything in the world, yeah. and Brian farts into his mic every once in oh a while. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, really? it's true. Mom, it's oh, true. No. Every oh, once yeah. in a while. <laughs> what's, your, what's your reaction to that, first it's, of all? Well, can I say? Yeah, please, Mom. It's be disgusting. Honest. It is disgusting. <laughs> He's a grown man, and people don't need to hear that, right, Mom? Yes. Now, right. I hung out with Brian's parents not yeah. too long ago. I probably should have brought it up to them, right? Yes, for sure. They, they could have yeah. scolded him, right? Yeah, for and sure. And actually, as we record this, <laughs> I saw Chris's parents uh, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And they're very proud of their son. He would never do something like that. No, Fart no. into the... Would your son do something like that? Never only once. <laughs> what is it? Cuando yo find the peridil, then what? You got to explain what okay, is Okay, well, I'm saying... So I just said something in Napoleon. 
uh, about passing wind. But that's yeah. enough. That's that's the, we don't want enough, to talk. Enough You're my mother. It. You've seen yeah. these things. Used course, to change my diaper. Course, but yeah. yeah anyway, well. Brian, stop farting into the mic. Uh, but I'm way ahead of you because I switched the mics uh, so my mom doesn't yeah, have to yeah. speak into your your fart foam. Otherwise, I will smell it. Yeah, well, that's yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, mom. It, that, yeah, you really hit the joke right on the... Yeah, good, good. Now we're all clear. Okay. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know why. All right. Uh, mom, you and dad immigrated to Canada in 1966, yeah? Yes. And uh, my older sister and brother were a toddler and an infant back yes. then. And then 10 years later, I was born. Yeah, right? 10 years after you were uh, in, a big surprise. Okay, I was the big... In, uh, I was the surprise in 1975, uh, right? That Was that yeah. was that a bit of a surprise? Yeah, okay, of course. Okay, that's, that's yeah. fair to say. Yeah, yeah it was a bit. Yeah. It must have been. Um, and uh, when you guys immigrated, my uh, some aunts and uncles and cousins and everybody came over, right? Yes. And you guys started a new life yes. in Canada. Yes. Uh, we had great Christmases, and thank yes. you for those, Mama. We had a wonderful time growing up and, and all that good stuff. What I want yeah. to talk about is before you came to Canada... And before you had kids and before you were married, when you were a little kid, I want to talk about, I think our audience would like to hear, it would be interesting to hear what it was like in Naples, Italy, and, you know, back in Europe and the, uh, during World War II and you guys were having uh, Christmas. What was that like when you were a kid? When my dad, he was a great guy, you know, he was the only one working. We were eight kids, but long before Christmas, you know, approach. My dad used to have a big, uh, how do you call it, that uh, manger? The the nativity scene. Yes, but it was big. My dad used to make mountain, the water coming down, the sky blue, the stars, mm-hmm. and all the people, you know, the, the people selling sausage, meat. Mm-hmm. And I used to help, help daddy. Was, and make all the little townspeople oh, and all the whole thing. It was daddy and I. It was yeah. the lady washing her clothes outside. Yeah. Uh, the the ships coming down. Yeah. My daddy was an artist for that. Yeah. And he And he enjoyed it. You yeah. could see his joy in his eyes. Yeah. Everybody coming used to say, did you see, you know, he was robbed proud of uh, of this the nativity, nativity scene that he made. Yeah. And then at midnight, I used to stay close to this uh, manger. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And I used to sing a song oh. every midnight. What song, Ma? Do you was, remember? Uh, yeah, I said, Du scendi dalle stelle, O Dio del cielo, E vieni in una gru. Tal frente al cielo, oh bambino mio divino, io ti vedo qui trema, oh Dio beato, oh quanto ti costò d'avermi amato. And that's it. That's a nice song, Mama. That's so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. What's that song called? Tu scendi dalle stelle. Yeah. Bello. So do you think Luciano Pavarotti? Yes. It's probably yes. iTunes. Uh, get yes. it on iTunes with Andrea Bocelli. Yeah, maybe Bocelli did it. Flamingo. Yeah, uh, Placido yeah. Domingo. Yeah, Flamingo. Placido, Placido <laughs> Flamingo. Mom, on the podcast we do a thing where we say "hmm" when someone makes a mistake, but I'm not going to do that. You're okay. my mother. But it's Placido Domingo. <laughs> so, Mom, you guys would sing songs yes. and that sort of thing, and then yeah. midnight mass was always a custom. Yeah, yes. of course. Yes. And uh, was it before or after that you would do, because I know you guys would eat late, and yeah. Christmas Eve, the tradition in Italy, and we yeah. do it here too, is, yeah. is the seafood, seafood on Christmas Eve. Yeah. When would you eat that? After. After, after midnight mass. mass. Yeah. Yeah. You would have a yeah. seafood dinner after yeah. midnight mass. And then we stayed at the table a long time yeah. because, you know. And with that much seafood in your stomach, I would imagine, it's a good thing that there wasn't any podcasts back yeah. then because yeah. then everyone would be a Brian Callen, right, yeah. Mom? <laughs> Making a little puzza yeah, into the yeah, mic. Yeah. Puzza is Italian for, I'm not yeah, going to say what that word yeah, is. Well, it's yeah, farting. I can yeah, say it. You don't yeah. want to say it. But it was a good time. It was beautiful, Mama. Yeah. I still got the, in my memory yeah. those. I still see us sitting at the table. That's nice. All of us. Yeah. My mom and my dad, you know, we are talking about everything, you know. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, yeah. So for you, Mama, the real meaning of Christmas? Family. 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 And yeah. that is the, the occasion to celebrate, the, uh, you know, the festivity yeah. of Jesus. But the most of all is the family get together. Yeah. This is the way it was then. 
And this is the way it is now. No, with your family, with right? My family. So, Ma, we've got a lot of different uh, kind of people listening. You know, whether yes. you celebrate Christmas or yeah. Hanukkah, or you, yeah. or you just cel- sort of celebrate the holidays or yeah. whatever, right? Uh, what would you say to people? You know, celebrating the holidays now. What would be that your kind of Christmas yes. wish for them? My uh, we, Christmas wish for all of them. First of all, peace, and God bless you. But yeah, but the- wait, hold on. God bless you, but. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go okay. ahead. But, but, every, yeah. every, but yeah. everybody is free to choose whatever. But for me, the family is the important thing. Yeah. You can have any religion that you want, mm-hmm. but you got to believe in Jesus. You got <laughs> You can have whatever religion you want, but you gotta believe in Jesus. No. <laughs> well, you believe in Jesus, and that's. I'm sorry to laugh. It's just the way you said it. Yeah, it was yeah. Very you, funny. Be- you can believe any religion, and you have the you right want. to believe in what you want. Yeah. Just, I'm sorry. The way you said that was very funny. I apologize. Yes, but uh, the important thing is to keep the family together. That's what. Uh, that's what Christmas is the about. The love right? of family. Yeah. That is all about Jesus. Jesus wants us to keep together. Yeah. Okay. And that's what you believe. Yeah. Yes. I so regardless that. of your religion. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You have a Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming on the show, Mama. And thank you for visiting. I love hearing about uh, Christmas when you were a kid. So thank you for sharing that. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. Happy holidays to everyone. And uh, peace. And try to keep the family together. Merry Christmas. God bless you. Bye. From our 10-minute podcast, Family to Yours, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Fuck off, Hey, no. hey. I have a family. Some podcasts are so and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10-minute podcasts. Yeah, I know what cool you're doing, but yeah, it's not, bells. It sounds kind of vague. Welcome racist. to the uh, Christmas episode of 10 Minute Podcast. Right. I'm Will, the shredded Santa Sasso. No. Because, like, it's you're not Santa. that. How yeah. do you laugh? How do you laugh? Hey, 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 hey. No, they go ho, ho, ho. Okay. Right. I'm Brian, the kid, Callan, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I don't do a insecure laugh. You do a yeah. I don't do a hip bass laugh. I'm, I'm, I'm Santa. I'm the shredded Santa. <laughs> hey, guys. You know how I say shredded bear sometimes? <laughs> Santa? Yeah, it's insecure. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. What's I already said what, who I am. Okay, I'm Chris. Yeah, I don't have a name. I'm Rob, which is to get even on Christmas. So we're excited to do something for you guys to, today. We yeah. did it for you last year. We did serious singing and Christmas. <clears throat> yeah, and serious it's Christmas something singing. that we uh, did last year, and we're going to do it this year. And last year we sang Silent Night, and this year we're singing We Three Kings. <laughs> now, and Chris, we're doing it when the, you were young. The, when I was younger. What did you do? We would do serious singing with our friend. It would be like me and two other guys, and we would all try to sing for real seriously and it's very hard because we tried to sing for real and we would all laugh so hard because it was cringeworthy. So this and is we, real So this is singing. real singing. And if you yeah. do joking singing, you're a fucking bitch. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. So, try and, you can, and you can do this at home, everyone listening. We appreciate you. So yeah. we're going to sing seriously. And I'm just going to get right and, into and it because I'm going to rock. And we encourage you to do this with your family yeah. and friends. But you've got to be serious. real singing. Hashtag, real hashtag try hard. And don't fuck around and joke around because that's bullshit. Hey, come on, Chris. Please, Chris, give, Chris. give okay. us some real singing. Right, sing to Brian and I. Real. Seriously, right. dude. And sing to yeah, us. I know. Sing Here we go. Me, please. And mean it. We three kings of Orient are <laughs> bearing <laughs> gifts we traverse afar. Ground your voice. Field and fountain, moor and mountain, Following yonder star. I kind of sound like the guy from Coldplay for real. No, you don't though, because you don't have. You're so voicey. All right, you do it then. Okay, so you got it. You got to ground it here. <clears throat> we three kings of Orient are uh, Orient. bearing gifts. We traverse afar. You're joking around. Yeah, you're joking. You're joking around. You, you're joking. I am not. I did it real, and you're real fucking around. You're joking around. Hold on. I don't. You're a bitch. Field and fountain, more, more. There you and go. You, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you. Follow, follow, no, there you go. Don't, don't joke. Don't joke. Following yon. There's oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. See? Can't do it seriously. Let me. I'm trying, asshole. No, he. he Back did. off the mic. All right, he did you try go. to do it seriously. Let me try it again. 
Please, can I try no, again? No, fuck try you. It again. Seriously. We three kings of Orientar. You slip it into joking land. Bearing gifts, we traverse afar. Field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, God. That was pretty good. Oh hey, God. You, you went into joke land a <clears throat> little bit. You joked a bit. No, All I right. didn't. Right. I didn't. Stop fucking shouting. Go ahead. Goddamn. All right. Uh, I'm going to do it. I got, I'm going to do it in sort of a Josh Groban thing. Just as sing long it, as bro. it's real. Real. Yeah. yeah. Real Josh Groban shit. All right. <sighs> We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. We traverse afar. You look like a oh, fucking no. idiot. You you <laughs> eight, eight idiot eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're going up like that. Hi. Oh man, bitch. Field and fountain, moor and mountain, Your face. following. Your face it's is terrible. plum purple. Fall, plum purple. Uh, a little lower. Following yonder star. There was a split second Will, where Will looked in my eyes when he sang that, and I fucking couldn't take it's it. So embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed. Take it. My I heart got, hurt. Oh. oh, you know what? Instead of the um, the chorus, what if we uh, what if we all jumped in? All right. And did and did the song. Okay. And did it justice. Okay. Let's go with a little backing vocals, and we actually do this because there's a lot of lyrics to the yeah, song. Yeah, man. Okay. All right. I'll go. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever, ceasing never over us all to reign. Star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Frankincense over and go. Frankincense to offer to have I. There you go. Incense not a day and deny. Prayer and praising wow. all men raising worship, worship him. A God on high. Oh, star of wonder, star of night. Right on with royal beauty bright. Don't make it a joke. Westward leading, still proceeding. Guide us to thy perfect light. All right. I didn't even know this. Look at these Shut lyrics. Up. My vocal cords. Here we go. Here we go. Mirror? Fire? <laughs> Already fucked it up. Threads of life, of gathering gloom, yeah. soaring, sighing, bleeding, dying, seemed in the stone cold. I fucked it all up. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Oh, 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 Those lyrics, yeah, Dude, I, I did. I was, you know, good, I did huh? it best. You know, good. No, I you did it did best. It. Yes, I did. Not uh, I did when my verse got warmed best. up. No, mm-hmm. well, my verses. I was the one on tempo the best. I will agree that you Admit were on it. tempo. I was best. in tempo. Yeah, but tempo also, I, myrrh is mine. No, you can't go back. You perfume. fucked it up already. No. We missed that lyric. Yeah. Yeah. You missed that Look, we lyric. got these fucking lyrics. It's like, where did these... I had no I idea know. the song was written. All that they were, they were written in All that yeah. language. You, first of all, you don't know when it was written. Okay? I do. No, well, you don't. Yeah, and, you don't. They but, don't but, be all... But guys, check out this Josh Groban tip. You don't sing like Josh Groban. Myrrh is mine. It's bitter. 
bitter perfume. And I don't like okay, it. How about, or how about we some three kings? Not the wrong, completely the wrong. Yeah. No, Brian, so, Brian's the worst the, singer here. We can absolutely. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah you I are. think you're Well, that's what we're saying. What if I did think? it on, a, on like the Mandy Patinkin thing? You know? Try it. Mere is mine, its bitter perfume breathes a life of gathering gloom. Well, I don't what like if I that. did it like Bono? But that's joke. Do it like Bono. No, that's how Bo- Mandy Patinkin but sings. But that's how you, Bono- you're doing it, an impression, which is not serious. Okay, give us, Chris, give us some serious... I do. That's all I do. Do it, bro. We we three kings. But fucking make me feel Ori. it. Your tone. Death. I'm not a good singer. So what may make us feel it? It doesn't we matter if you feel something. No. Try again. No. Try again. Brian, calm down. Wait, wait, wait. We. I'm good. He's yeah, pushing he's, on his stomach. Well, because you have to use your diaphragm. Oh, that's so lame. Bro, you make me music. feel it. Sing to me. Make me feel let's, something. Let's all take another shot at this. Ready? All right, go. Okay, hold oh. on. Let's all sing it. Come on. Is it? Is the podcast over Born yet? Born a king on Bethlehem's plain. Oh, Ryan's joking. I bring to you are. You're joking. Him joking. Again. No, I'm not. Now you're not. King forever, ceasing never over us all to reign. Here, let me let me do a quiet okay. chorus. Oh. Star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty. Bro- See, that's speak, nice. Speak, speak, that's speak. not bad. Westward, Westward leading, still proceeding, guide wow. us to so die. Bad. <laughs> you are so high bad. Over Shit. the fucking map. I know. Why did you do some of it? I was killing all that. Incense to offer had no. I. Incense owns a Brian, you're fucking everything up. You're welcome. For, for what? For what? Well, yeah. No. You're welcome. Who, us? No, it's you, very you. obnoxious. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10 Minute Podcast. Uh, 2014 coming to an end here. That's right. Um, and I just, you know, we all did our things. We've come a long way, haven't we? Collectively, but also individually. But yes. What, and, what and, was and, the year welcome thing? Uh, uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I Why guess, do you seem so perplexed by my question? I well, no, you, to... I feel like you're winding up right now, and this is how you wind up. So I'm what... calm. Okay, no, but I see you winding up well, to say something so, like look, we self-congratulatory. Know, so me, what, what, I, why, why are you welcome? We didn't say thank you. So do you, don't you think that's a bit adversarial and obnoxious? It started, to... the, the podcast started, and then I said you're welcome. So the listeners, I'm going to tell the listeners that you did say thank you right before we started recording. I didn't say thank you. Did well, you say thank you? No, I didn't. Well, but, but they're going to believe, believe who they're going to believe. Me, gonna believe. Yeah. Look, let me tell you something. This is uh, because we know Chris so well. We know each other so well. I kind of – I'm reading your paper. I'm picking up what you're laying down, and I think I know what you're trying to say, Chris, because today, this episode is our 300th episode. That's right. It's a special episode. We're going to go 13 minutes. Our 200th it's was amazing. 12. Uh, you know, yep. 100 300 people. episodes is yeah. a huge so, accomplishment. It is. Yeah, yeah it's great. Way more we, and than And we stuck it out but, because but we never Chris, say die. But here's what I'm saying. Chris knows that it's our 300th episode, yeah. and as soon as I hit record, he says, you're welcome. Right. Right. So what are you trying to – oh, you and hold on a second. See how, see how frazzled he got us? Welcome to the Ten Minute Podcast, yeah. our three hundredth episode. He hijacks. You that go way. Ten Minute Podcast, hit yeah. ban, do all ban, and be that. Dude, uh, my name is Will, and- the chief engineer no. of laughter and cheer. No. Yeah. over the years. No. 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 Sasso. No. What's your name? Well, I- I'm Brian the Kid Callan, and you know... No, and I am Chris D'Elia, and I don't have a nickname because I'm wrong. What you see is what you get. I understand that. But what's funny is that I wonder after 300 episodes how much we've made on Amazon, and I think we've made in the area of almost $200. <laughs> yeah. Which is, so which is the Amazon what you banner. get when you really stick it out, and, right. you, know what? and you have faith in years. the process. And our two... And our, Thank you, by the way, yeah, Will, for always our, advertising. And, and oh, always sure. advertising for no reason. <laughs> no, I and, I and I absolutely hate it. I wish you wouldn't do that. So, uh, I... I, here's the deal. I, I, I have news for you. Yeah. When we glide softly, when we glide softly into the year 2015, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm already done with. I brought 2015 
in 2014. Okay. <gasps> so okay. Bad. I was on my wow, 2015. A it's a bit much. I was on my 2015 shit. That's oh, in fuck. 2014. Can I tell, can I give you a little note for 2015? Yeah. Don't say hip hop stuff without some sort of hip hop tone. No. Because yeah. you said uh, what did you just say? I didn't. I was on my 2015, 2015 shit. shit. Yeah, that's obnoxious. In 2014, and now See, I don't I'm, know what that means. I'm just yeah. about to inch into yeah. revealing and kind of owning my 2016 shit. Well, but it's it's not even the end of 2014. It's December 30th. And also it feels days. like you're saying you're kind of futuristic and you're ahead of the curve. Is that what you're trying thank to say? Thank you. I don't know if I'm I trying didn't to say, say that. Don't say thank you because now I didn't – I'm saying is that how you're, you're thinking you know about what, you're, it? You know what? You're actually – I know what this is coming from. I do have a watch that hasn't come out yet. And now, you're, you're, you, you're designing a watch? No, I have a watch. That's that, okay. that that somebody gave Cause, me. Because oh, I want to tell that you that doesn't come out yet. Like, like when someone gets a, a cell phone in 2006 right. yeah. from Japan and it has and, video yeah. capability. But there are and you're responding to, to that because you've seen my but, style. But, but speaking of, but being that was my 2004. The... That was my 2004. Hey, Chris, can, can, I, to, can I say something? Let me say something really quick. Well, okay. Because I feel like he's saying he's ahead of the curve. And okay, I think he's saying he's ahead of the curve. And I feel as though if I were to put you in a lineup with the Bee Gees, <laughs> you would fit right in. In fact, I don't know that I would know that I replaced one of the Gibb brothers with your face. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, and let me keep going. Yeah. We could jump ahead. If I were to put you in the Knight Rider, yeah. I'm okay. not sure I would know. And, and while if it we're was you making, or David Hasselhoff. And while we're making uh, references <laughs> right? that, that don't get anywhere past 1982. Sure. Uh, because Brian's bringing up a band largely from the 70s and a show from the 80s. But I think that's I'd the like to say point that if make. you replaced John Travolta on Welcome Back, Cotter. Oh, I wouldn't blink. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I honestly agree. I'm, I don't know. My voice is going up, but you be Vinnie Barbarino. Please, 100%. Well, Vinnie Barbarino. I, I, I think personally. What's up with your voice? That, um, This is my, well, you know, I'm inching into 2016. 16? Hey, look. Uh, is that a mature voice? All right, look, man. What happens actually is the years become shorter for me, and I start doing my years very quickly. Mm. Well, we've are, you, are you so bending about time? Mar- like, about about May? Are you, are you Jaden Smith? Are you able to about bend time? May yeah. or June? I'm going to do my 2017 shit. Well, okay. that's good. That harkens back to our and the episode end of called 2000, 2017. And the end of which is 2000, one of the many episodes. And the end oh. of 2015, oh. I will be on my 2018. Okay, okay can, you know we, what? can we just for a second I, reflect on where we've come after yeah, 300 I was just episodes, say, please? Yeah. Well, Chris, you're, you're 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 dishing a lot of sauce on what you're saying. Well, where have you come? Three years, starts, I will three be years. well into 2019. Hey, bro. No one gives a fuck, man. I still with after, my shit with my shit. After right, 300 look. episodes, I still want to use the back of my hand, the yeah. knuckle part of my yeah. hand, and drive it down at a 45 degree angle across over his nose, across your face and nose. Yeah. I want to do that repeatedly, so that hasn't changed. By 2025, no, okay. I'll be on my 2043, 44 shit. Your shit. I'm gonna boot your eye. I'm gonna boot your eye. Listen to me. It's been 300 episodes. My this is shorter. This has been awesome. It's been 300 episodes. If you listen to all 300 of them, we we'll appreciate I'm you. I'm on episode 345. Uh, no, you're not, dude. No, you're not, bro. You're about to those get don't sho- exist. You're about to get shooed up right now. Hey, what's How about uh, we shoo you up? Now, I, even though I don't even want to ask Chris this question now, you know what's fuck? I don't want to just do it. I know. Well, hey, what's changed for you guys in the three near three years that we've uh, been doing the show? God, that's okay. don't go first. You have a, yeah, go so, ahead. Just get this it is a with. 13 minute podcast, right? Yeah, it's going to uh, be. Okay. Oh, God. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, okay. So, um, oh, what man. I. Oh, jeez. Um, what changed it for me, what, what I have to look over my shoulder a lot. Why? Why? Um, Why? Because when I'm walking in and out of. He's making a scrunchy face, like, ooh, his eyebrows. Yeah, like an apology I, right uh, now? I, 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 have, I have to. Think about you know if I'm showing up to a place like what is the security like? His what eyebrows is right now. Like? Are you saying is that because you're going to be mobbed? Yeah, you know Chris. Thumbs, Chris has got some motherfucking like, eyebrows on him, and we all thumb, know that, and they arch thumb, pretty high. Thumb, but right thumb, now thumb. your eyebrows look like a roller coaster. Thumb, thumb, bum, bum, okay. bum. Your eyebrows look like two mountain um, peaks. Well, your eyebrows you know, look like the end of the movie Alive when the two you know kids are are <laughs> you know they're hiking through and they finally reach and which is beautiful helicopter sweeping yeah. shot. The Hindu Kush. Yeah. 
jackets. My jackets got different. I don't give a fuck anymore. Because they're more expensive. Know, Brian, what's changed uh, for you? In, a little in, bit. A little bit. Years. But they're also like uh, of like rare animals. Oh, jeez. <laughs> weird. I, weird. I have uh, I have accomplished all the things I wanted to. I'm a good family man. I have a crazy, crazy uh, one hour I'm about to shoot. Uh, my boxing my, and my footwork my account, and, my, and my tennis has gotten way my better. My bank and my account. French is excellent. Is um, Chris? No hey, one cares Chris, about it's that. not that, all about that, money. Yeah, it's it's about, about no, I know. how you're contributing. What are some of your fi- how right. you're growing? And I feel like I'm very proud that we've come through. Hey, you know, episodes. I, I've had a good time with some of the, the 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 people that have dropped by. Why we've had Arnold Schwarzenegger and Fans, we've had really Jason we've had oh Jason Statham, Jean Claude Van Damme, Jean Claude Van Damme, Steven Seagal. I think. No, he's never been on the show. We did a little bit that was live with that. We had Hulk Hogan, so much for all of our friends like Cody and Brad and David Greco and everybody's um, dad and Shauna. And also Look, why even Garth Brooks. Hey, Chris, remember when Garth Brooks? Hey, Chris, Twitter Garth Brooks was here. I work flies by, they'll say, and I'll just be like, I don't do it for that, but thank you. You know, you're not even able to listen to anybody anymore. Yeah. You're, you're so, so, so centered around yourself that you didn't hear no. what we were talking. No, no. <laughs> well, I didn't say, what do you mean, no, no what? I'm not. You're just... Your own, you're the center of your own universe, aren't you? Well, I mean, th- that's funny when people say. What that. kind of shirt am I wearing? Uh, oh my god, you can't even see me. You have a. <laughs> oh my god. Sh- short shirt on. I have a, a black sweatshirt. Right, on. right, 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 right. No, you said a short shirt. Whatever it is, uh, ask me. Is Will other... wearing a hat or not? He's right in front of you. Oh my god. Will has. You're so is, myopic. Chris, you what's your favorite part of doing a podcast with your two friends over the past three years? Oh, um, f- holy shit. Oh, no. Oh, Did no. you just come a little bit? He came. I almost came. Oh, <laughs> is Chris, it because of us or are you I'm just, trying, I Chris, are you just I imagining what's going on up in your head? What, what Chris, what are you thinking, thinking about right now? What's going on in your head right now? Yeah, what's going on in your there, head? I, I'm... In see. my living room. Okay. And there's... What are you doing? What are you doing in your living room? Well, Who's there? Who's there? There's uh, k- 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 three or four pies around. And pies? I'm, and these what? girls are feeding me, me They're feeding you pies? Oh, no. Are you, wait, are you wearing, are you wearing a toga? The only thing I'm wearing, wearing is a blazer. Your head? I have a blazer oh, on and that's blazer. it. Are you wearing pants? Uh, no, no. I have no pants on. And, uh, oh, okay. you're all hairy and yeah. you're eating pie? And there, we're watching uh, old episodes of Hunter. Why would you watch Hunter? At least, at know, least they're not watching him. At least they're not watching episodes and, of Hunter. Wait, wait, then, hold on a second though, Brian. Are, it's me. Yeah, in, you're Hunter in, in, in it. Uh, I'm Hunter. You're Hunter oh, in it. Oh, shit. And it's such a shitty it's, show, it's, dude. It's, it's weird. Why Hunter? And, and then there's guys looking at me. and uh, What are they doing? They're... Uh, Older men that yeah. are saying, like, we've been everywhere. We know right. a lot of things, but we wish you were you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Are, they, are they writing checks? Ah, that's... Yes, they're writing checks. <laughs> okay. That's right. Uh, For what? Uh, For what? I, what is, what's that... happening to the checks? They're giving them to a, a, a guy. <laughs> okay. What guy? Okay. Is he's the guy wearing the... glasses? Is he's... He... Yeah. He's a diminutive man, perhaps in a suit. Absolutely. He that's right. He's very a bookish man. Uh, that's right. And okay, that's your accountant, saying, Chris. He, he's saying, thank you. Okay, that's very This nice. will be a good addition to Chris's fortune. Oh, oh yeah. Jesus. It's his They're account. just writing you random checks. It's it's just, yeah. This is the most narcissistic fantasy I've ever. It's but, a daydream. you asked me. I know, but about, is, there, is there any giving of the money? Are you changing the world? We're giving it to... How? Oh, God. Yeah, I, I can't think that far. Um, <laughs> oh no, we're giving it to to other g- girls. And oh, you're giving it to girls. You're yeah. spending it on girls, and they're and you're paying them to, to service you. Can- yeah, candy. What are they doing? There's candy. I'm There's getting candy. lots of you're candy. I'm candy. Candy. and girls, and they're giving it <laughs> to me. Mess. And the girls are giving me pies and candy. And they're Chris, come back to us, Chris, man. I'm Fame has <laughs> changed you. It's ruining everything. I have a this blazer is, on it. This, and the blazer. We heard you said that already. There's oh, wings fuck on this. it. Chris, the blazer has wings on Chris, it. Chris, yeah. come look, look at, at us. Face. Come yeah. back. Drooling. Flying. In. Oh, man. Oh. Are you fly- Are you flying in a sports coming. car? Oh, coming. Oh, are you coming? Is the sports car come power? I'm coming all over. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, Are you leaving a rainbow interior. behind you? The, oh, leather man, interior, that's, that's going to be expensive to stained. clean up. Yeah, Look. but the accountant says it's okay. Yeah, of course he what? does. There's all that money from those old guys who've been, who want to be where you are. They're and dead by now. Of stuff. Oh, oh, they died? They just died. Is everybody dead but you now? <laughs> yes. And the girls. Oh, you still you, got the girls, though, right? Are you on right? an island with they're, sugar and cum? They're dead. <laughs> this is the darkest... I'm on the, I'm on an island. I'm not proud of this Chris. being our 300th episode. Oh, Thank you for listening to 300 Wait, episodes. Wait, there's a what? beam coming a beam. out of you? <laughs>